Yes, whether it's a beer, a shot, or even a glass of wine, grab your favorite beverage as always, and welcome back to your favorite live interactive video game podcast. That's right, it's the Level 857 Video Game Podcast with your host, as usual, Algae 857 <laughs> Stallion, Sticks, and Turbo 857. And a special guest we have returning to the podcast tonight is the head of an indie dev studio responsible for bringing the world Retro Mania Wrestling, the official sequel to one of the most classic arcade all-time wrestling greats, WrestleFest. So please, put your hands together and welcome for the fifth time on our podcast, devoted family man, father and husband, and also CEO of Retro Soft Studios. Give it up for Mike Herman. <laughs> Herman. <laughs> Not Herman. Her- How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> yes. Herman. We are good, sir. Good Big Choco. Man, each intro tops the one before it. Thank you. Thank you. I try. It's it's getting tough, he I said, tell you. Herman. You it, will not be doing that in the ring. It's, it's tough. It's tough to do oh to top Herman. the intros, but I try. It is my goal every single time. We have a returning guest. Fifth time. God, fifth time. And Big Choco is off tonight. He will be with us next week, and I'm filling in for him. Yeah. It's going to be big shoes for me to fill. See if I could do as good a job as he can. Nope, you can't. Well, you, you, you can't because their chat highlight's broken. So, uh, <laughs> He's already so failed. we're just going to, uh, yeah, you already failed. So, uh, we can't see you guys' chat, though, so we yes. can't still respond back to you. Yes, shout we'll, we'll, out. We'll give you a shout out. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. the chat. Smoke yes. back. A pimp name, Smoke Back. And for everyone in the shot. Bizarre out, Cafe. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. Mass produce. You got to wow. yeah. calm it down. I got to get them all. Dude. <laughs> you got to calm it down. You have to chill, dude. You got to okay. relax. I'm done. But, uh, I'm done. Everyone in the chat, for everybody out there who I see, myself, you will get one of these. <laughs> Yay. So if you hear that sound, you know somebody just uh, tuned into the chat. Yes, we, got, right? we got sound effects back, yeah. Yes, so we got the sound effects back. I'm happy about it. We needed it, especially with this guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Turbo needs to get booed. I oh, test, yeah. I test out the sound effects. I make sure that they work. No, no. Nope. no. The reason for the price is right back. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, seriously. Yes. <laughs> Next, uh, we'll try to get Bob Barker on here. No, we won't. Uh, it's <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, we will not. Uh, how about that? Hey, that's, uh, that's great. That's great. Is he still alive? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, seriously. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think he is. Oh, he's yeah. 90-something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But he, he's is he, he is still around. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. What, yeah, what is, is going on? Happening, about water everywhere. Nah, the water almost spilled. I just took it. You just almost knocked right over there. water. You sure you're not on drugs? <laughs> yeah, you sure you're, you're, you're not on drugs? Are you dude? tweaking? Like, high on life on? right now, man. I'm high on that life. Jeez, Jeez. I played that a couple of days ago. Oh, he's wild. I know you were life. stressed, but damn, man. <laughs> nah, I wasn't. Sp- when was I stressed? I you always stress. <laughs> nah, I'm you stressed. stressed me out. I almost stressed him out because I almost spilled that shit on his balls. That would have been bad. Yeah, that was that was bad. Sound effects are All working. Right. Love it. That was bad. What a way to start. Al, save us, please. Save I got, us, yeah. someone, yeah. please. Save this us. is Chocolate's fault. It's all his fault for not being here. I remember, us. you have the mute button. Save oh, I do. <laughs> and he's going to get one of these. <laughs> That's how you can save it. I got to do the job of chalk today and whatever it is that I do on here. That's the job no. of all right, man. <laughs> let's get on to the freaking show, all right? Yes, yes. Let's talk about the games we've been playing, all right? Let's do it. Let's here do we it. Go. Here we go. Mike. Tell us, man, what games you've been playing, man. Uh, so, believe it or not, this past week I've played Dr. Mario. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Mario. That's my game. Throwback. Uh, I had to do a run through Tyson. Ooh. <laughs> Never been And punch guy. out. Never. And uh, I actually, because I watched the Tetris movie this last week, oh, I played some awesome. Tetris on the original game. Well, not, I played the Game Boy Tetris on uh, Analog Pocket. Oh. oh, nice, nice, nice. Ooh, the Tetris Game Boy. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. Not nothing, nothing current, though. And I'm doing some testing on Retromania, of course. Ah. Yes. <laughs> As always. always. That goes without saying. Yeah, right? Sure. We're going to get more in the detail with the, uh, about the Tetris yep. movie. Uh, it's a little more topic, but uh, yeah. Can't <laughs> wait to get into that one. Oh, yeah. Can't I was wait. on that, too. All right. I did not. 
So a little retro gaming. Oh, you saw it too. I didn't All get right. a chance to see it. I didn't see it. Did I play uh, anything this year? I don't think I played anything this year. Oh, actually, I played one other thing. What's that? What's that? This, uh, are you guys familiar with Open Bor? Yep. Yes. So That's I played great. this um, Infinity. It was like a Marvel-based Infinity Gauntlet game mm -hmm. or the Infinity War, mm -hmm. where it has like an absurd number of Marvel characters in it. It's like a beat 'em up game for those who aren't familiar with it. It's like a beat 'em up engine that fans put together, and it's there's like eighty some Marvel characters in there that you can be. What? I feel like I've seen me and my son, before. me and my son, were playing that uh, a little bit. That sounds intriguing. I feel like I've seen that. It before. sounds like that Diablo uh, Marvel game they came out with. I got to take a look it's at the that. Avengers game. You said right? Yeah. No, there is an Avengers. Is this no? I think it's it's called like Infinity War. I believe this is the one I, I found. That's the DC version. Oh, they made one of those too. That looks okay. cool. I haven't played that one yet. Oh, okay. That's dope. Yeah, Beats of Rage was originally like Streets of Rage mods. Yeah. Yeah. They started with like SNK characters from uh, Yeah, I've seen that from too. King of Fighters. Yeah, I've seen the SNK one. They yeah, did it like a it. one with uh like Hulk Hogan in it yes. in Double Dragon. I've seen that one with <laughs> the Ultimate Isn't Warrior. Ninja Turtles yeah. with uh, Hogan and Macho Man or something like yeah. that. I think they did that. I know a Double Dragon one, definitely. Oh, he doubled. Yes, it wasn't. Yeah, he was doing yeah. like pile drivers <laughs> and shit. Yes, yeah, found it now. To like regular sized people. That's, That's awesome. Funny. And they were like the WrestleFest. Uh, yes, WrestleFest or the characters. Superstars one. Same Superstars, thing. I think yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. Hold That's up. fun. This one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. There we go. Yes. Yo, that looks like a real game. Yes. That's amazing. Dude, we have to play some out of this. Yo, that is that's... ridiculous. Oh, that would be good. It's four. Those things. Most of them are four players. It'd be good yeah. for you guys to stream that. that. Is hilarious. Yeah. yeah that sounds pretty cool. Well, we had um. What was it? The one I had. It's um, ridiculous. It was uh. Thundercats. Yeah. It was, it was a Thundercats one. Yeah, it was a Thundercats. That was a broken one. one. Remember? Yeah. It looked good. And a He-Man one also. He-Man one he I saw. I remember the He-Man one. one. Yeah, but yeah. They, yeah, they did a Thundercats, He-Man. Thundercats is Freaking... just never given enough love, man. <laughs> I swear. It gets me so mad. They made it for uh, Game Boy, I think, too. Yeah. And it didn't look bad. Game Boy Advance, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That yeah. was Double Dragon with uh, Hulk Hogan mod. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's why PC games are good. You got Road Pig Road Pig John. There we go. Road Pig John in the chat. Me up. Some of them, I mean, I was the the controls on the one I played, the Marvel one, weren't the best, mm. but just the pure like number of characters in it and the different stages in it, mm -hmm. it's it was it's like a pretty quick playthrough. I, I I really enjoyed it. Yeah, they always do. They always make a dream like dream game with everything. Yeah, yeah. like that. It's something you're never gonna see them really do. Right. Yeah. You know. And they'll have like a thousand characters. <laughs> yeah, everyone yeah. legit is in the game. Uh, I think mean, I like Ultimate Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Yep. <laughs> it had everything right. ever. I remember yeah. that one. And yeah. no one like, likes to sue them at all. Suit, like you pick Sub Zero versus Sub Zero, but it's like yeah. some different game. Mm -hmm. it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, they did a whole bunch of. Games. I like that people leave them alone and let these. Uh, well, it's not yeah. Nintendo. It's easy. It's not Nintendo. If it's Nintendo now. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't have Mario in that game. Actually, yeah, exactly. they did have. They did have one. Like a, a, th a, a beat em up? A platformer. Oh. But it had like uh, Samus and Mario and Kid Chris. Oh, that was. <laughs> it was like a Super Smash like platformer. I'm not, I I'm not surprised I've never seen it. I wanted, seen to, I wanted to play. I think I downloaded it before I, Nintendo got I've to it. That. But I think they yeah. probably got rid of it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Nintendo will be like, well, no! I know there was like, uh, there was something that game called Dreams. Yes. yes. There was a Mario thing on there and Nintendo made, them take, made Sony take it down. Yeah, they had oh, a bunch no. of Mario and Sonic stuff in there. But uh, was it Mer uh, Molecule? Media Molecule. Media said, Molecule. Um, the, 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 what was it? Sackboy and freaking uh, Little, Big, Little Planet. Big Planet. Yeah, I think they're stopping anything to do with uh, the dream in, a, in another month, I think. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy, man. I'm surprised. Like, it's I'm a surprised the stuff that people came up with. Man. Dude, uh, full-fledged games. Yeah. With soundtracks and everything. Insane. All, all in the, in the freaking Insane. software. Like, people are crazy. Remember that stupid shit they were doing for a while when they were just having Wario die all the time? Oh, yeah, yeah, God. Yeah, Let yeah. me see if I can find that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For ah. the, yeah, yeah like, oh, my God. <laughs> ah, and he, like, crashed the car. That's all it was. It was, just, it was just him dying. It's not even a game. It was, uh. You just show him dying every time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I why swear. is this a thing? But it was funny as hell, though. Yeah. With the car flipping. Yeah, it would just like start flipping out. <laughs> it like I couldn't even make drums. that. It looked Dude, like paper. I, I couldn't even attempt to make that. 
<laughs> it was so dumb. Oh, this is all <laughs> old and pixelated. <laughs> oh, that. I found it just now. That was you like a couple it? of years yeah, ago. Yeah, let me see if I could play. Hold up. I'm going to put it up. That sound? Check it out. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so bad. And he's dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to play it again. <laughs> That's such a bad accident. It's bad. It's terrible. It's so terrible. Oh god. Oh god. Let me stop it. Let me stop it. Al, you've been getting fast with that. Man. I tried you to mute it. Stuff fast. <laughs> oh man. That's hilarious. <laughs> Nintendo's gonna come I hope you guys heard that. In the, in Nintendo's the, uh, about to remove listen. this channel. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the rest of this podcast is going to be muted. Because of yeah, channel. exactly. Yeah. They got chalk already. Yeah, yeah, yeah chalk's been this <laughs> They got chalk. <laughs> they took them out. They took them out. It's just a matter of time, man. They said chalk, a matter of time. <laughs> chalk was leaking at Discord. <laughs> Can't. Oh, man. What did I play? Um, let's see here. I played... Uh, actually, let's go over real quick with chalk. Chuck's. Uh, did anybody watch his uh, Fighter Friday? Uh huh. I took some of that. You the did? Smash Friday. Yeah, I so maybe you could you could uh, describe it. So I'm gonna put it up for you. Go yeah, ahead. it was Smash Friday. You know, it's uh, what Chalk does at the first Friday of every single month, and uh, you know, it's a great time. You know, we play uh, you know, four player battle worlds. We have usually have a bunch of people who are in the arenas who are playing that, mm-hmm. and uh, we have a lot of regulars. You know, that uh, come by each month. Uh, very good skilled players that play along with. I drop. I try to drop in there every single time. I wasn't able to do it because we were upstate. But uh, yeah, there were some uh, some douchebags, <laughs> like who, you know, who came in for the first time, and um, they were like in cahoots with each other. You know, they would not hit each other, but they were going double teaming everybody. You know, and I'm like, no matter who they were playing against, and I'm like, all right, I see a pattern forming here. I'm like, what's going on with these guys? When it was just them at the end, they would have some garbage match. So, so it basically, was a team. It was a team. Yeah, it was like it was, but we weren't playing teams. Like it was like you set the arena up for team matches. Like we'll do that. These guys want to do that. We'll battle them with teams if they want to do teams. But (laughs) they can't be messing up the uh, the the, the free for alls. They were ruining the entire stream. The free for alls. Yeah, they they, (laughs) for the matches they were in, and they were in a pretty good few matches. And I was just like, yo, man, I was like, they should have got booted. (laughs) I was like, chalk boot. That's what the booting is for. Get mad at it. Yes, they should have seen the boot. Mm. Should have seen the boot, but it looked like it was a good time. Yeah. Okay, well, it was a good all time. Right. All right, yeah. yeah, not bad. But they ruined that free for all. Mm. I've yeah, uh, next time, man, you gotta get mad. Yep. <laughs> what is if it, it was me, I was like, chalk, we'll drop these motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 kick, kick you got the power. You got the power. Get them out. Exactly. Him. Like Prince Adam. Uh oh. Like He Man. No, yeah, I had the power. Actually, he was He Man when he says I had the power. Right. That's yeah, after yeah. the transition. I have the power, yo. Guys, oh, should, I, sorry. should I do it, guys? Sorry. In the chat. Yeah, that probably deserved one out. <laughs> Damn it. It was he man. It, it, it was a true statement. It was a true statement. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 It's a delivery, man. It's a delivery. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, it was. You can't expect a good delivery. <laughs> I said Prince Adam did that. No, it was. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right, Al, what you been All right, moving <laughs> on, guys. All right. So um, I just got the Steam Deck not too long ago, and I'm, uh, I've been on an indie game kick. So one of the games I've been playing, I uh, started playing. It's a puzzle platformer, really weird puzzle platformer called Etherborn. Or mm-hmm. Etherborn. I don't know how to pronounce it, but really weird game. It's like a gravity puzzle platformer game. So you see this character here. He's like walking on the side. You got to figure out how to get these orbs or whatever to unlock uh, like a pathway. Wow. Yeah. This is definitely an Al <laughs> game. It's an Al <laughs> game. It's out there, man. It's out there. It's, and I got stuck already. I'm like on, on the second stage. I just I pictured stuck. myself playing it and I quit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a it's a it's a pretty I just quit <laughs> in seconds while watching that. It's a mind bending uh, puzzle game, but mm-hmm. very good. I had very good time. Once you once you solve the puzzle, it's like it's the best feeling ever, man. Well, those types of games make your brain think. Yes. After you figure out how to play, like their play yeah. mechanics, your brain goes oh yeah in wild places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In order to pass stuff like that, but it's weird. It's weird how you can connect to playing something that's weird. It's like all gravity really? based. So I remember there was like an orb, and I was like, "How the hell do I get that?" Because I can't, I couldn't walk towards it, and then mm-hmm. it was like, "Oh wait, I can walk on the wall." Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. The, the I remember there was a game it. like that for PlayStation One. I forgot what it was, and ah, then the yeah. dude who made uh, the dude who did the do, uh, Tetris effect, and Red, oh, oh yeah, he's doing a new game that's like that, and it was the trailer of that was ridiculous. Really? There's, uh, there's so much stuff going on. Oh man, mm-hmm. but it was a bunch of people. It was weird. Oh, actually, this is the part I got stuck in right here. I couldn't figure out how to get the freaking jump out. In. Jump out. So you have to. You can't. Well, he's gonna do it right now. See, so look. You have to walk on the, and then you have to jump up on the top here and then go down. 
I think you have to hide in the bushes. And then you fall. Oh, jeez. And then, and you, then fall. you fall because of the gravity, see? You fall uh, down. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah, I looked I figured that out. It, like the, I, I was like fuck. stuck on this for a while, too. I was like, yo, how the hell do you get this thing? Fuck that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, the other game I played um, that I just picked up, I just I said, you know what? I'm going to pull the trigger now. I'm getting this game. Um, is Super Pizza hot. Pizza Tower. Pizza. <laughs> I've seen this Pizza game. Tower <laughs> is an insane. This game is drugs. This game is <laughs> insane, dude. That's <laughs> Nickelodeon and stuff. It's insane. It's like playing a cartoon. It's wild. What is it? Like Wario and Sonic the Hedgehog. It's, it's like combined. No, the way like, he moves is hilarious. It's out of control animation. The animation is sick. It the music like, is actually really good. I heard the music. It's, it's like Toe Jam and it, Yes. It's really yes. Dope. It looks like Rockwell's Modern Life. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Looks good, though. Cool but uh, uh, awesome game. Having a lot of fun with it. It is tough. It is a tough game. Is it? Yes. Yeah. It's tough because it's uh, there's a t- uh, you have to get all the, the all the pizza toppings or whatever, mm-hmm. and then you get to the end of the stage, but you have to back you have to backtrack, mm. <laughs> and there's a time limit, a two minute time limit to backtrack everything you that you just did. Deliver a pizza. So you have to no no no. So you have to you have to you're tr- you're working your way up a tower, mm. but at each stage is like uh it's like a maze. Does he sound so like so you have Mario? to memorize? Huh? Does he sound like Mario? It sounds it. like war. Uh, I just kind of like a, uh, sound effects. Yeah, he doesn't really have a voice. Really, oh, he doesn't really? talk. Oh, he doesn't really talk. He really, has no. to have Italian mm. accent. Yeah, <laughs> no, he doesn't. He doesn't really talk. But um, yeah, no, it's tough. When it, just when you get to the end of the stage, you have to backtrack, and it's t- it's also timed, so mm. it's like oh shit. So and you have to. You, there's a button where you like dash. You'll see. You'll see it here. <laughs> he's it not doing it yet. Drugged it out. So but yeah, this is the beginning. Yeah, he looks where like he's on drugs. Look at the top picture. He's on, he yeah. on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> he's tweaking. Awesome game though, man. He's Highly tweaking. recommend. All right. Highly yeah. recommend. But that uh, I played some other games, but I don't remember what they were right now. So. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, when I you're testing remember. out the handhelds, you play a lot. I yeah. played a lot that I forgot. Yeah. It's I always my test for Street Fighter Four <laughs> all the time. I, yeah. I can go back to that all the time. I'll Street talk about 4? it next. Love yeah. Street Fighter Four. I could be like the controller's not working right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I tried to get uh, Tetris Effect uh, mm. connected on Steam because that's the only system I don't have it I for. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it on Steam. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it'd be nice to have it on the Steam Deck. And well, uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't run as sluggish as it does on the Switch. On the Switch sucks. <laughs> I don't like it on the Switch. You don't but like it, yeah. yeah, no, it's hard. Nah, the effects, the effects should be taken off. It's all plays good on the Steam Deck. It does. Does it? Oh yeah, oh, you nice. it's like the second game I put on there. Oh, <laughs> oh nice, really? Nice. Ah, yeah. no, but I, I, I was looking for a sale on it. It's still full price. I'm like, really? Oh, <laughs> come on. Come yeah, on. I definitely got it on sale a while ago. Yeah, no, I, I, I missed that. Uh, I missed that sale. <laughs> you know what's? But, uh, uh, you know what Steam Deck verified? Retromania is Steam Deck. Verified. Oh yes, that's right. There is a green check right there. Heck I yeah, man. I downloaded it online, of course. Heck yes, yeah, man. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we got a question. Question in the chat from Media Glitch. <laughs> is Media Glitch ever going to be in Retromania? <laughs> <laughs> Joel would make a good character. Yeah. It would be a great character. I wonder what his finish yeah. would be, though. I mean, Reggie's been there. It would so be some, uh, of, some of Media Glitch has been there. <laughs> that's true. That's true. It would be something Fist of the North Star named. That's what mm-hmm. it would be. Definitely. Word. Yes. You have the seven uh, scar. Yeah, seven maybe, yeah. Seven scar. scar. Maybe, yeah. Seven scar, <laughs> whatever, something. Let's go whatever. Yeah, Joel knows seven what's scar up. star. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. It's a good idea. Yeah. Al, is the game good as pineapple on pizza? <laughs> pineapple on pizza? Not bad. Mm. I like pineapple. Well, that's uh, mass produced. He asked that question. Is the game as good as pineapple on pizza? Yes. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. I like I, pineapple. I had uh, pineapple on pizza and I got so angry. Really? Really? I hated it. I mean, it's, it's not very hated. It's I weird. It's like a. Some people like it. Some people hate it. I, I'm, there's not not in between. I'm not really a fan of the ham part. I instantly thought. Wine. I instantly thought, why is this here? Why is this ruining my pizza? I fucking love pizza, and I was like, why is this here? And why was this given to? It was free. It was a free pizza. Right. Yeah. Somebody at the bar had a free pizza, and they were like, "Hey, it's very do you want it?" Though. I was like, "Yeah, it's free," and I didn't want it anymore. Maybe it's got free, bad man. pineapple. Maybe, maybe you got some bad pineapple. Oh, it just shouldn't be there. Should have took the pineapple <laughs> and threw it off and ate the rest. It shouldn't be on my pizza. I like it. It's not bad. It's, it's peculiar funny. taste. Strange yeah. taste. All right, uh, yeah, I didn't play anything uh, indie. It was all, I was surprised I was ever able to play something. You're playing actually. eight games. You're playing the yeah. same eight, eight games players. every week. Eight role players <laughs> it's for true, like though. five months. It's true. I played a lot of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wait, and, Joel uh, didn't get his question answered. Oh, though. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, Mike, when's, Mike, when's Joel going to get in the, <laughs> 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 the game? <laughs> <laughs> apologies. Oh, apologies. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
talk to my marketing team. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, that's me too. Uh, uh, that's funny. We'll see. We may be doing another arena for the next update. Maybe we can fill it with a couple more people. Oh, oh there we okay. go. All there right. we go. <laughs> it might happen. It might happen. But uh, yeah, Xeno Chronicles three. Oh, um, dude, I just love that game. Xenoblade oh, Chronicles. Uh, but the star of the show is uh, yeah, like this game is uh, awesome. And they just had some uh, you know, made some connections to the other. It's part of the story where they're making connections to the past two games. Is it good? I mean, I'll, I've never even heard you say it was good. You just play it. It's awesome. <laughs> he said he said That's good. Right. You, never, good? <laughs> you just talk about it. I it talk about it. <laughs> you just talk about it because he's still playing it. If I'm playing it, it's, if I'm wasting, let's see how many hours I got in that. I'm on like, my guys are on like level 49, so I got to put okay. like probably about 49 hours into it already. Right. Something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's a great game. I never played any of them. They're not, awesome. Not a, they're no. all freaking awesome. I've never played okay. a bad they're Xeno like six, They're like 60 plus hours. Mm. Right? Yes, they are. They're definitely 60 plus hours. I, I play Xeno Gears. There's nothing to do with it. That's no, it has nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do with it. It's kind of, you know, they're made by the same studio. It's kind of like uh, Is it? in the lineage of it in a sense. Really? Not at all. Yeah. I think no. there's people same from Xeno, Xeno, people who made Xeno Gears. There's some people who went to, I think, Monolith Software. I think that's the new company. No, nah, there was a game really? after Xeno Gears. Zeno Zeno Gears something. Oh. Hmm. No, no, it was something huh? else. The guys in the chat help me. <laughs> but yeah. uh, they have no ties. <laughs> they have no ties to Zeno Gears. Yeah, that, so. That's like a Evangelion story. That's not that'd be news thing. to me if I. If yeah, they had some like some games on the on the Wii, I think. Yeah, yeah they had like a collection. They had a lot. Yeah, they stay and then Nintendo bought them. You yeah. Know? yeah. yeah. What else have you been playing, man? Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is the star of the show. I'm at the end, dude. I'm at the end, and I realized that I missed some summons. No Leviathan, no Bahamut. <gasps> no, I didn't the have main I summons. missed one. No, I missed one, too. You missed uh, one Bahamut, too? I didn't get one. Who'd summons. you have at the end? Ifrit, uh, Shiva, and Yeah, I had everything but Chocobo. Yeah, Chocobo. yeah I, got, I got the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's Even the hidden stuff. Yeah, I'm at the end. In, but uh, there's something you got to do to get Bahamut. I'm just, no way. No, it's like he. It's in. Uh, it was in that building where the guy put you in the VR <coughs> battles. <laughs> yeah, right over there. Yoda. No, I think it's in the training. Yeah, put him in the VR. Training or something like that. Yeah, it's where you get the big fat chocobo. Like yeah, he's a summon too. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, you got. There's other stuff you got to do. Like get. You got the fat ass chocobo. Yeah, I mean, I got. Fat ass chocobo. I gotta see what his looks. What his summon looks like. Is it like the one that's uh, in part two for the Super Nintendo when he's just laying there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. really? That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. He doesn't yeah. move. He just drops down. He just doesn't move. Yeah. But things started getting weird. And it's a great last scene. I, I got killed by a Bahamut. He killed me. And uh, <laughs> I'm like, Behemoth. Yeah. I used to call it Bahamut. And it was Behemoth. And I was like, wow, I was no. reading that wrong. No, nah, not that particular one. But there was a... I call there was him. one that's a behemoth. Yeah. That's a, with a be, yeah, behemoth. A behemoth. I used to Bahamut. call him the wrong thing. I used to call him the wrong thing, too. <laughs> Hooked on phonics, folks. Yeah. Hooked on phonics. <laughs> <laughs> These games, they teach you how to... Real, <laughs> not a real thing. A behemoth? I mean, whatever. A debit? A, deb, a debut? No, I see. A debut? A debut? A debut? A debut? A debut? You can see behemoths. It depends if you go to the beach a lot. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's the cancel sound. Uh, so yeah, like, they right? the sound of a channel being canceled. <laughs> you didn't know what I was talking about when I said that, though. You uh, just, you, you're you go, like walking the line of trying to get us canceled. That's what comedians <laughs> like us do. You're, though, not, a you're not a comedian. <laughs> you're not a comedian. Wait, who? Who's in the us? Who's in the <laughs> us? <laughs> Seriously, I, you know Chris Rock. No, know? no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, you need to get slapped. I will walk, off, Chappelle, I will, I will walk off this oh, podcast. Yeah. And and that, you're in that league. Huh? Yeah. I'm stop in that it, league, stop. man. Okay. I, I study them. I study. You them. need to okay. get slapped like them. Stop. What I'm have you been? What have you been playing? <laughs> when have you opened yeah. in a stadium? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ever? Not yet, man. It hasn't happened. When have you had anyone in the crowd? Anyone in the crowd? When I joined the crowd, I joined. I joined the crowd. You're just a stand-up person. No, but that's yeah. That's pretty much. Uh, all I played this week because right, we played right. multiverses, but that was before last podcast because that mm. came on earlier because we didn't update. So that that was pretty much it. Okay, Final Fantasy nice. Seven. Right. Uh, I played a uh, couple of things. I played uh, Hi Fi Rush, and Ooh. it's funny because I played all this stuff on my ultra wide screen because mm. I just got a new monitor, nice. and I didn't know like yeah I don't know what games are gonna actually use the entire screen. This was one of them, and like it's like a like a thirty nine inch freaking wide screen it's ridiculous i've never seen a game on something like that and you know you see it on youtube and like, oh, all right but it's one of those games that takes advantage of that where you just see like everything nice 
But um, you still put, still an amazing game. It's still fun. Um, I only have like three hours in or, two, or like four hours in now. I don't know how long the game is. Not super long. So hopefully I'm getting through. Do you prefer to play on that wide screen or on? Dude, uh, it's dope. It's, awesome. it's dope. Yeah. It's immersive as hell. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not like I have to play on that, but it's something I haven't experienced yet. Pretty cool. And um, I'm also playing that I fall in order, which yeah. also takes advantage of the <laughs> super wide screen. I was like, I didn't think this was too bad. Fallen Order is the shit. Dude, I got my ass whooped by the first enemy in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I know you did. Oh, of course. No, nah, it was some big ass thing, like some some monster is hidden in some room. And I was like, that's, Dude, that's like a big that's, ass boss. That's light work, man. That's light work. First enemy. I fought him. I was like, no, I'm beating this guy. Like, if he hits you twice, you're dead. And I was like, damn. All right, so I, I I went back like seven times, and, I, and then I beat him. I was like, yeah, good, I got you. First then, boss of the game. <laughs> it wasn't even no one. That was not a boss at all. It was just the first enemy. The, henchman. <laughs> the first enemy. And dude, the first little ass guy that popped up killed me. <laughs> I was like, dude, this little ass guy killed me. You got blocked, Jay. I guess I had block. no energy. I did block. Him. I guess I had no energy from that boss. There's but a dodge button. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just started the damn game, and I got killed by the like little guy. I'm like, yo, this is. That game makes you move. Nah, that Survivor's game coming you. out, man. Survivor. That game makes you move. I know it's coming out in a month, so it's I'm trying to get through this thing. The game is so good, though. It's so dope. And I heard the new one is going to be more polished. Yeah. Because well, a lot of people. I saw some gameplay. Getting footage. used to I how this game bit. played, but the new one looks like you can do a lot. They start you off with all see. your force powers from the previous game, too. That's I saw that, you throw them into the, the TIE Fighter or whatever. Oh, that was like, dope. Wow. That was look dope. at that. That's just crazy. Yeah. I don't have any of those powers, though. I think I could just slow things down. see if I can find right in the beginning. Like I said, right in the beginning of the game. <laughs> so, what do you like? It's good. Two though. hours in or three? Ah, probably like two. Two. Yeah, because I first I was playing on the Steam Deck just to see how it looks, mm. and it looks crazy. It looks crazy, it's but it's not. That's not verified for Survivor Steam right here. Yeah, it is the up. new one. Survivor. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that, Survivor. I saw a thing good. online. It was like the guy from uh, the guy from Gotham should play the character in real life. I was like, isn't he the freaking guy? Is this an April that's Fool's joke? Yeah, and the guy that's from Gotham. Should play that's him. a tip. And they had it all. They showed all these Twitter posts. Dude, he would be perfect. He looks just like him. I'm like, dude, that's that, that is him, though. <laughs> like, what do you mean he would be perfect? That's a troll, it's man. That's him. a troll. Guy from Shameless. I was like, dude, that's him, though. <laughs> April Fools. And it was like, no, it was like on the eighth. I'm like, dude, it's not. Why are you doing this? This is the April Fools. Confusing joke. everyone, it's man. It's stupid as hell. That's the Mandela effect. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, are you kidding me? This is not him. It's just a person. It looks like him. Imagine <laughs> if they never asked for permission for that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, well, then you're getting sued. Like, but isn't it his know. voice? Is he playing the guy? <laughs> But wow. imagine if it wasn't, and we just thought it was. Mine are right. And we're going to hire him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised, though. I'm, as, you know what they're doing on the Disney uh, Disney Plus mm -hmm. with all the reality stuff and having no real people? I'm surprised he hasn't like been approached. I mean, they might be working with him. Just they have to be. Maybe. They yeah. have to be. Everyone's going Star Wars. He's the crazy. same. He's the same, 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 same look. Everything. Same they might as well do it now. Yeah. You don't have to make him younger the way they, <laughs> like mm. the way they do with Luke Skywalker. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it now. Yeah. But it should be interesting. I mean, he's a cool, he's a cool Jedi, man. Yep. I always wanted to see him do that with the other guy too, the uh, Star Killer. What was Star Killer. Star Killer. Yeah, I always wanted to see him in like the real, like a real show. Yeah. Cause he's pretty dope too. He's pretty generic looking though. I mean, he can get looks anybody. like the dude from I don't what was know. that Jailbreak mo uh, show? Yes, yes. Right. Yes, he does. He looks like <laughs> him, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if Star Killer's games are canon though. Are they really canon? Who cares? They make it dope. <laughs> yeah, Who it's cares? Don't matter. All the cartoons no. they're making now into real people, so whatever. Obviously, yeah. So they'll make up some shit. That's what they did in the movies. Yeah. For, <laughs> so hopefully, I'm trying to shit. get. I'm trying to get through this uh, this one right now, so, so I can get to the second one. You gotta hurry. Second one's coming out. I know. All right, and that's all. Okay. I've only played Fire Emblem and Gage again. <laughs> so you started it. again. Huh? Yeah, I started again, and it's it got me bad. It got <laughs> me worse this time around. Cause like I know how to use like the um, the second seals and shit like that mm -hmm. to like change people's classes and stuff. Oh, you started using that? Yeah, so I like changed characters that I hated to a different <laughs> class, and they're like actually pretty good. Really? So yeah, I started doing that, and uh, I'm like doing a lot of skirmishes, like a lot. Yeah. Just to boost up everybody, um, so I have a choice with each like storyline battle rather than using like the core yeah. <coughs> ten people that I would always use. Yeah. I would just try to match it up with the the enemies that are on the uh, battlefield and stuff, but. It's it's fun as fuck. I got to get the DLC. I'm probably going to get the DLC pretty soon. Yeah, you get the DLC first. Let me know if it's worth it before I, uh, I did that punch before, that 30 dude. Bucks. I did that before with th three houses, and I said it was worth it. You still didn't get it. Not yet. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it, though. Did you, <laughs> beat, you didn't even beat this yet. Nah, well, uh, Engage and I haven't beat it yet. So I'm, How? I'm, I don't like the battle mode. 
Well, you're just not good. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like I'm playing uh, a couple of role playing games, and it's just like that battle that I'm on. I'm just like, I don't like this freaking battle. I'll come put back. I don't easy. remember that being a problem. Put it on the easy ship, pass that, and then put it back. Ship was easy. Don't like it. But you're, you're playing on casual. I'm playing it with permadeath. You know, so <laughs> that was for World's Bazaar. <laughs> so it just <laughs> ended the game. Well, it's so close. You just ended the game. It's over. It's close to the end of the game. No, that's what chapter? Never gonna it? play it. Now. What are you? At I will play it. Yeah, I'm, it? I'm gonna. I beat every Fire Emblem. What? I'm gonna come back. What? What chapter are you in? I forget. 18, maybe. So you got 10 left. 10 left. That's 28. Yeah. It's the ship battle. I call it the shit battle. It's not. That's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, it's like, well, well, yeah, I'll get back to it. But Xenoblade is like, it's it's going at a good pace. No you one know, cares so about Xenoblade no more. You don't care about Xenoblade. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like my <laughs> I care about that. Why are we talking about Xenoblade? Because <laughs> I'm saying why <laughs> I'm not playing Fire Emblem. So I've that's been playing Xenoblade. Anyway, so I've been, pace, I, pace. I've, <laughs> I've, I've been playing Fire Emblem and Cage. Um, I got to start something new, though. I definitely have to start something new. Uh, since the PS5 is not downstairs, I can't start God of War or Horizon. So, I think I'm being forced. There's a PS4. Guy Wait a minute. House. Hold on a second. Just not to cut you off, but mm-hmm. I actually just picked up right before the podcast. I finally got it. There's well, nothing in there, guys. Guys, guys, there's nothing an empty in there. PS5 it's box. It's it's box. <laughs> I loaded my PS5 box. <laughs> <laughs> it's an empty box. No, Al, you walked in the store and bought it. I or bought five hundred. Let me start. Uh, um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I got it on uh, Best Buy. Okay. Got it from Best Buy. I ordered it. And yeah, they had they had stock. And you walked yeah. in? I walked in. How does that feel? That must feel good, right? It Walking felt, in and it felt buying a system? Uh, uh, two years later, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, or oh two and a half years, years later, three, yeah. Three, it's almost freaking three years. Yeah. It's like, there's wow, like a, this there's is like crazy. There's like a hundred in stock. Right now. It's wow. crazy. No, they had they had plenty of them in stock. They had the uh, the God of War Ragnarok uh, version and they had the regular one. Wow. Yeah, that's Joel. Like, uh, Joel loves that game. If he's still <laughs> in the chat, that's actually his top top five all time. Dude, man, I was like, damn it, why'd I have to pick it up right before the podcast, man? Right before the podcast, I'm like, I want to play this thing so bad, <laughs> and got to do the show. Yeah. Show must go on. Oh. Must go on. Do, but yeah, do you have a game I, for it. You got a PS5 game for it? I have several. Like because p- I have a uh, PS Plus, oh, that's right. the that's premium. Right. Just play the so. ones Shay's not touching. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's got like oh, five of them. Exactly. I, no, I got two. I got two. Elden Ring already exactly. played though for PC. I got true. it. For no, but um, you have that now, right? What? F Elden Ring. Elden yeah, Ring. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. They sold the shop. <laughs> he said uh, F, F Elden Ring. <laughs> F Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, Mike's not on the bandwagon, man. Oh, I suck. I, I I'm just terrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was playing that, and I, I went online to to figure out what the hell I was doing wrong. And someone wrote an entire sarcastic article oh. of why I suck, basically. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like That's starts it out like telling you this guy is a, is a really hard and you have to dodge and the ob- real obvious stuff. And it, and I, it took me to, to read like two paragraphs of it to realize he was making fun of me for being bad. <laughs> Usually that community is not like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess like in the very beginning, maybe. So, yeah. But it's usually a pretty Damn. good community. People are and I made it worse. My son's like, oh, yeah, you know that boss you're having or that guy you're having trouble with? Yeah, I got. I beat him first try. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's, that's a, I have a coworker like that, man. It's like his mm-hmm. kid. Every game I tell him I'm playing, he's like, oh, yeah, my son beat it in like three days. <laughs> I'm like, what? That takes like 60 hours. What the hell? But but you but you have them mess with Cuphead and they can't touch it. Yeah, they, they can't, can't touch, touch it. True, yeah. they can't. That's touch true. It. It's too old school <laughs> the for them. Old they, school can't, they can't rock with. They those. can't mess with the old school. Nope. The, new, the play, new stuff I though. Still can't mess with Contra. <laughs> 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 I can play Cuphead. I can't play no, Contra. Contra is still yeah. extremely Contra. difficult. I Joel could beat that with one life, although he did not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when he did it, when he was playing last, <laughs> but he says well, he could do it. One life. A friend of mine I grew up with, as soon as we went from Nintendo that had two buttons to Genesis with three, he was done. He couldn't handle three buttons. Man. That was my older brother. He did the same thing. <laughs> that Super, was I had this, he had a yep. Genesis, and I had a Super Nintendo, and my brother was like, nah, man. Our I'm brother out. stopped at Genesis. <laughs> yeah. Stopped at Genesis. Three, yeah. Buttons. Same thing. three buttons is too much for people. He was like, anything more than three buttons? Actually, it was the it. moment was <laughs> Genesis Fantasy Star 2. And then he he threw the controller into a dresser, <laughs> and it got point. stuck in the dresser. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of video games for him. Dude, he I could play. <laughs> that was it. I could play with a controller with ten buttons. I can't. I hate one button. <laughs> the Atari controller, I hate. See, I grew up with that man. I, I grew up with the I Atari. I've I've evolved pretty well, but like yeah. when you're switching between games, that's it's when tough. you get no, that, up. that's tough. It's tough. It's I like still, wait, I gotta click this. Oh, I still can't. I still can't use the the buttons on the back of the controller. I can't. Oh, do. like like. 
Oh, the the, uh, the macro that. buttons. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't even know what the fuck that. Is. That's yeah, for never, macro. Like I you can program. You can program those buttons for oh, whatever. That, that kiss my ass. Oh, you don't touch them with the middle finger and the nah, ring nah, finger. Nah, dude, nah, don't, like don't ever do that motion again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck, dude. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> that's that gets bro. one of those. Dude, right that's there. some fucking creepy. Dude, that's shit Spider-Man. Right yeah. No, but it's already it's already hard enough playing freaking multiple consoles now. With yeah. the with the button comedy, it's like from going from Nintendo to, to Xbox. Or well, I bought the Xbox like Elite controller. The first thing I did was rip those things off the back. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What do I oh, do the, this for?" The paddles. Like, yeah, ah. I don't play first person, so I don't care about yeah. those buttons. That's like, oh, what a waste of money. <laughs> 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 All right, it still felt cool. It's metal, but whatever. As long as it feels good. Yeah. Ah, dude, yeah. I just don't like the way. You know, <laughs> creeping me out. Dude. All right, so that's all you played, man. Um, yeah, it's all I played. Um, okay. I, I'm. I'm at a, a crossroads. I don't know what to play next. I'm like Returnal. I'm not <laughs> touching Returnal. Returnal. Elden uh, Ring, Eric. Play Elden Ring. <laughs> I'm not touching actually, Elden Ring. A, you would be addicted uh, to it. And actually, you would like both of them. I mean, I'm gonna get Dead Space the remake. Dead Space Two mm-hmm. is is calling but Dead Space me, 2 but is. I don't want to get scared to death right now. <laughs> you can do God of War. Um, why you, you can play it on the PS4. I've got the PS4 on right now. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm not using really? it. I'm not using the shit. Anymore. Okay, maybe I'll rock with that then. Maybe I'll play uh, God mm-hmm. of War or. Um, that that Fernal Edge is looking kind of dope, though. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something else. Yeah, come Inside on, man. joke. Inside joke. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Nobody knows. Yeah. Nobody knows. You got it for what the Switch, right? What Fernal Edge? I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it yet. Oh, you don't have it yet? Mm, oh, have it. oh, that's right. Yeah. That was the other game. Mm. Damn it. That was yeah, the other game Edge. I played. Oh, I forgot. It. Yeah. Fernal Edge. Yes, the game is dope. Yeah, Surprise! Like I played the, all the demos, all the updates for the demo. I'm I wish, to be honest, if one of you guys had a physical of this, I would start next. Well, I, that, that was if you have a physical of Sifu, I would start next. I well, I was gonna say Vernal Edge. I, I ordered I'm the physical. <laughs> I on supported sale? that. I don't. I didn't Sifu even look. Was on sale, I think for Switch, twenty, is it twenty or thirty? Maybe thirty. I Maybe think 30. it's thirty. Yeah, 30. I think it's thirty. On the Switch, yeah. I gotta fix my fucking controller before I before I do play that game. You can play it. My Y button getting stuck. But I got controller. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. if I I'm still debating whether I should put just don't break mine. <laughs> I would never. Do I yeah. break controllers? No, this guy broke every PS3 controller. Actually, I no. I break about it. I break GameCube. Oh, Cube just playing Dragon Ball. I fuck all your controllers up. <laughs> Sorry. Never did nothing. Never got me another controller. Nothing. <laughs> then it wasn't you supposed to be wow. every analog. You ripped every analog stick completely wow. off. I gotta get you the top ones. That's the caps, right? That's why I gotta. Get I want no cap. The analog. I don't work. want no lies. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I knew you were gonna fucking say that. Oh, Turbo God. is a controller killer, man. Literally every control I had. I was like, dude, that was a lot of controllers. And instruction manuals too. He kills instruction manuals. I do. Uh, Destroys magazines. them. Magazines. 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 Never lend them any. Anymore. Never lend them anything <laughs> that's paper. It's or hard to preserve those. <laughs> or so of tough. value. Don't give oh, them yeah. anything of value. Unless you have a spare. <laughs> <It's so tough. laughs> Nintendo power stopped because of this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, dude, I was just here for one day. Yes, let me destroy this. <laughs> I'm a digital guy. I l- I'm a digital guy. Now. Use me for your dog? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. And this week, uh, I'm going to finally, finally, finally be returning to Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh, oh really? Right. After my, okay. I don't even know how many months it's been. The half of your highest? <laughs> maybe, like six, highest. maybe like six, seven months I haven't played. Wow. Really? Yeah, it's I haven't played. Long? Yeah, it's been a long, long time. Wow. I've not touched it. Are you trying to build up your Super Mario? Yeah. He's a diamond yet? He's almost. He's on a. He's a couple of fights from diamond. Wow. Which is two from the top top in the world. Mm-mm. Nice. Yeah. My Superman's a problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> media glitch. Until they trash. patch it. Yeah. Um, Al, can you remove media glitch from the chat? <laughs> 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 can we, uh, you know, no? get, get rid of oh, it real quick? Man. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, what do I? I didn't, what sound effect do I use for that? Uh, no, you, you said delete. <laughs> 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 All right, just, just, just get rid of them. Yeah. 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 Just get rid of them. There you go. That's better. Just get rid of them. That's all. All right. But man. yeah, I've only been playing uh, Fire Emblem and games. That's it. All right. So in that case, uh, are are you guys ready? Well, hold on. <coughs> should I do a uh, promo before the news? Do you want to? Yeah, of course. Do the more the okay. merrier. It's your show. All right. Before y'all. we head to the next segment, I want to remind everybody that the Level 857 Monthly Game Giveaway is live right now. It is live right now at 857ENT.com slash giveaway. And I'm going to put that in the chat right after I stop talking. But now you got to make sure you guys head over there. Click that, <laughs> click that link when I put it down there. Win yourself a free game. We had two winners so far. We got a winner every single month. 
Right. Every single month we got games to give away. Like so make Sally's sure you crying. get in on that as soon as you can. Let me get that link down there. That's all I wanted to say. Sally is crying on the toilet. I am. I'm, I got the link in the chat, man. I feel good to so get free games with you, you know? <laughs> Gift that keeps on giving. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> that being said. All right. I think it's uh, around that time, ladies and gentlemen. What yeah. time is it? It is time for the news. Oh, shoot. <gasps> You tried hard to ruin that. I didn't try. <laughs> really to did. He was I even didn't. louder and everything. I didn't he was trying big time. I just <laughs> wanted to do the bass. Hold on. That's all I Come wanted on, to do. Man. Come I just on. wanted the bass. Hey, there's all no, right. no bass. Let's kick this news off. News yeah. one, y'all. The Super Mario Brothers movie breaks opening weekend records. And it breaks... The biggest opening for an animated flick of all time. Yep, even Frozen. Even Frozen 2, which was an awful movie, by the way. Uh, <laughs> oh, never saw Frozen it. 2 was not good. <laughs> never saw oh. it. <laughs> no. Did Frozen anybody one, see... Frozen uh, 1 was dope. Did anybody see uh, the Mario movie? I did of not, course. Not I did not get a chance to. I did. I didn't see it either. I saw it. You saw it? I did. Thanks oh, for the invite. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, right? Thanks, I told for, you. <laughs> thanks for letting us know. Yeah. I, told I, thought we <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were friends, man. I thought we were friends. I don't need y'all for this. <laughs> 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 Actually, there's a bunch of kids in there, obviously, because uh, obviously. It, is, it is a kid's movie. Yes. Don't get it wrong. It's not. I liked it. I enjoyed it. As right. a Mario fan, like, yeah. you would enjoy it. If you're a Mario fan, you're going to like Let's it. Let's go. Um, a lot of it was a you know the big disparaging thing with the critics. And the mm -hmm. fans, it's the biggest hate love relationship there. Mm. It's like a ninety six right now for fans, and I think it's like a fifty. Yeah, the critics killed it, but people who watch it like it, you know. Well, I mean, listen, you don't go in there. It's not going to get an Oscar. No one, you're not going in there for the story. Mm -hmm. And the critics went in there. It's like, oh, I don't know anything about Mario. This didn't teach me about Mario. Blah blah. blah. Like, listen, all right, I, it's not a Pixar movie. It's not like on that level where the adults get something out of this. Like a Pixar movie, it's not mm -hmm. gonna like make you cry. Like I mean, it can if you really love Mario, it can. It can make you cry, but right. it's not like a Pixar movie that can make an adult cry and all the kids love. It. I'm a crying. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm a crying. There was a lot. There was a lot of fan service in the movie, mm -hmm. and some people think that that's a little much, especially if you're not really into all that fan service and you don't understand it. Mm -hmm. um, but compared to what they did beforehand. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a Nintendo movie, but I mean, even if you didn't like it, all the children loved this movie. Right. E everyone was, they were all cheering and clapping at the end of it. I was like, wow. wow. I was like, okay. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't feel like I was <laughs> Nintendo. Clap was, about Nintendo's it, like spanking in the back, like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, they, like, the kids love this movie. Nintendo's <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo. Miyamoto, Miyamoto's <laughs> like, yo, this is what I intended. Taking stacks of money and shoving it up their ass. Yep. <laughs> they're not gonna make. They're never gonna make another Mario game. Fat stacks. After the amount of money this makes, they'll never make another. They'll never Mario make a game. game. They're just gonna make yeah. movies. Yeah, yep. <laughs> exactly. Changing That's the exactly. business model. <laughs> just make movies. Yeah. I mean, nah. Listen, Nintendo <laughs> has no problem making money. They're still gonna oh, make yeah. the game. Six. Uh, would you say the movie is better than any uh, animated Mario cartoon from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show? <laughs> <laughs> it, it reminds me of it. No, it, does. it reminds Shit. me of that. It does remind me of that. Really? Listen, yeah. if my, me preferably, I would have liked it to be more edgy. Not edgy. No, I just wish there was more heart to it. Mm -hmm. okay. It's not the most heartfelt story. It's pretty flat mm -hmm. as far as stories go. It's a generic uh, story. It, it's, like a the Mario. Well, it's a Mario. I'll say Mario. Mario. Like, yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty much Mario. It's a Mario I mean, story. Yeah. I do wish that the like Mario and Luigi were more together in the movie. Ah, spoiler. Uh, oh, no, well, thanks. <laughs> <story. laughs> <laughs> I wish they had more time together in the movie. Ah, uh, oh. Um, I'm not gonna say anything about the movie story, obviously. But you just, you just did. Let me stop. <laughs> 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 Watch the trailer. Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but a lot of people are saying things about it, like, oh, it's woke. It's Princess is in a, a damsel in distress, so they think it's woke. I'm like woke <laughs> huh? just because of that. Have you played Mario too? She was the character. Have you played Peach? Yeah. Like she's not a weak character. Uh, Super Princess she Peach, she yeah. Mario 3D World. Yeah. yeah, exactly. She's not a weak character. Did you see her in Smash Brothers? Exactly. She's a demon. <laughs> she's a, she hits you with that cake. Yeah. <laughs> and no, uh, when you see her in a uh, Super uh, Super Peach, whatever it's a. Uh, Whatever her name is. Super oh, Princess that is a Peach. game, right? Yeah. That yeah. is a that, yeah, that's game. That's that own game. Yeah. Yeah. When she's when you get a movie in that game, jeez Lord. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I can't wait to get to that. Yeah. All right. So 
people were talking about that. And I'm like, all right, y'all are really stretching this, right? It's Mario. And it's mm-hmm. not like they, you know, it's not. It's not. But listen, Bowser is a standout. People love mm-hmm. Bowser. Ah, oh, Jack Black. He was a, yeah, Jack Black did his He's thing. awesome. The voices, every voice was fine except for Cranky Kong. <laughs> really? Was not really? A fan. Was not a fan of Wow. Oh, that's okay. I wouldn't expect that, man. Well, everyone else was, Star Lord. was good. Mm-hmm. Was that? Uh Star Chris Lord. Pratt. Star Lord. No, he was good. He yeah. was good. Compared Mario was good. to compared to Lou Albano. He was a better Mario? Yes, man. Okay. <laughs> Lou <to> Albano. <laughs> he was not a good Captain Mario. Lou. Captain Lou. Captain Lou. <laughs> yes. He was better than Captain Lou Albano <laughs> as Mario. <laughs> I thought Captain Lou was a good Mario. He was uh, all right. <laughs> but he's not, uh, I mean, if he came out now, people would be complaining. But they do the so Mario <laughs> dance. <in> the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The so brothers. This, isn't a, this is not a spoiler because they did release this online, and I think it was a trailer at some point. Too. Mm. They do have the Mario song in the movie. Nice. Really? Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Wait, nice. like like from the old? It's, yes. Get it's out of here. The game the, not like the other side side. Yes. Oh, <laughs> side yeah. side no, no, that's that, not that part. Oh, no? <laughs> Not that part. No, the, the theme. Really? Like the theme, yes, from the show. Oh, that that wow. is in there as a commercial on TV. That's, that's cool, cool That's cool. It's right in the beginning also. That's so cool fan service. Know. So there's, there's a tons, lot of, I'm sure there's tons oh. of Easter eggs in that. Oh, yeah. No, there's oh. other games in there. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, there's, a, there's like a cinematic universe, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Do they play the uh, Jack Black's Peaches song in the movie? Yes. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Because yeah, I, <laughs> I saw a little clip of it. I was like, I hope that's in the movie. I was caught off guard by that. <laughs> I was like, funny. Bowser can't be doing anything like that. <laughs> 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 but no, nah, they they played around with Bowser. Mm-hmm. His character is all over the place. That's, <laughs> awesome. that's, yeah. that's My, great. That's great. But to make it quick, though, it it's a good movie. I think people will enjoy it. Most fans will enjoy it. Mm-hmm. But my gripe with it was that it was a little too fast paced. But I understand they did that because kids yeah. need mm-hmm. to be, they have no attention, attention span. span. So no they have to have it jump here to here to here to here. All mm-hmm. right. And <coughs> it was very fast paced. Mm-hmm. I do wish they did like hint at some stories. I was like, ooh, mm-hmm. I wish I would jump into that because like some origin stuff and some like where did something come. And I was like, oh, that would be pretty dope to talk about. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they did not. Well, they, <laughs> they did not. They're, they're making a sequel. I well, it's already got greenlit. Well, of course, it was the amount of money he's going to make. Listen, yeah. it made yeah, two hundred million had something to do with that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, right at the at this article, it was at uh, three hundred seventy seven million worldwide. Whoa! On the, on the first weekend. Oh God! Oh, yeah. Yo, God. So, that's insane. And with man. the amount of people who you know, amount of fan base that's going, they'll probably go back. Dude, they had they opened the kids the, will go back. The theme parks also. They, they, I'm sure they're going to promote it there. Dude, you know. Nintendo's just rolling around yeah. in bed. Butt naked in money. <laughs> just well, like, that's the game. That's just like, <laughs> that's what the completely Switch, that's like, like money. Scrooge McDuck. Style. Yo, Scrooge McDuck, but like extra <laughs> uncomfortable and sleazy. This is all new money. <laughs> this isn't even the old. Oil, oiled up. <laughs> oiled up. <laughs> oiled up. <laughs> oiled up. <laughs> rolled around and money with Mario's face on the dollar bills, <laughs> which is good for nothing. But <laughs> it's like. In a money bin. That's what I'm picturing. <laughs> I have a feeling that this movie uh. was probably longer and they cut a lot of stuff out of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I don't, I'm wondering what they'll do for the home release. And Ooh, to see if they'll Snyder have cut. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. wondering yeah, if man. they'll have an extra director's yeah. cut. But it was good. Interesting. Mike I'm, I'm not surprised that it was that, that popular. Mike, did you see it? No, I didn't see it. Oh, okay. Are you planning to see it? Yeah, I'll see it. I mean, I, probably at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait till it gets I, on I Netflix. Liked, like, I like the Sonic movie for what that was. It's probably something similar. You know? Sonic movie was good. It's funny because a lot of people who saw this yeah. are dissing the Sonic movie. I'm like, wow, really? Really? Wow. Sonic movie was good. Because like, oh, that's what no. happens when you this, put this, Mario this in is Sonic, Sonic is. man. That's <laughs> what it is. Exactly. It's like through history, that everyone always puts Mario over Sonic. So yeah. it doesn't matter how good the Sonic movie is. Right. They're going to yeah. shit on it because there's a Mario movie. But they're like, oh, there's exactly. real people in Sonic. I was like, wow, wow, wow. All right. It was still a good movie. It's all added. <laughs> Sonic <laughs> was dope. One was no, better was than two, but two was more like the video One game. was definitely better than two. Two was more yeah. like the video game. Two had some cool stuff in yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, get rid of the people, obviously. They well, get rid of the wedding. Yeah, the wedding. That's, was... all, that's all they didn't really need in part two. And but... I, w- I felt cheated that <laughs> I didn't get my um, snow cap music. Uh, I wish. I was cheated. That's not an I, w- I know I was cheated not for anything, that. No. They Maybe took it out the game. I'll dub it over. They took it out the game. <laughs> yeah. Well, people were complaining about some songs they may have taken out of Mario because they put some 80s music in. Man, I was like, listen, let the market 
That's just marketing. <laughs> what do you want him to do? <laughs> Come on. I mean, it took place days. But it kind of opened. The cool thing about it doing well is like, you know, Nintendo was like, all right, well, this did well. Hmm. Oh, yeah. How about a Zelda? How about a Star Fox? How about we do all these uh, Kid Icarus and then we'll do a Smash Brothers? You know, like they can do whatever the fuck they want yeah. now. Yep. Well, if they do a Zelda, I hope they don't do it like Mario. No, you got to do it. You got to do it. Well, to be good more, story. I need that right. to be more edgy. serious. Yeah, edgy. Or at least more story. Or just mm-hmm. add in the, the oh, link from... Metroid 1. Oh, yeah. Oh, Metroid would be yeah. crazy. Yeah. Well, Metroid I don't even nuts. know if they can do that. <laughs> Live action, man. Let me stop. That would be <laughs> cool. Listen, I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't mind it. If they do the know. Zelda one, we got to get the right link. The excuse me. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> But they'll have a character in there that does that, I guarantee. Oh, no, there'll be a, there'll be a shout to that. There'll, there'll be a guy who says, excuse me, Link. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. Excuse me. In every movie. Like, that would be oh, funny, yeah. though. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now nah, it was good, though. Bumps into him. Excuse me. I got to say, Joel even liked it, too. He said it was a great kid's movie. Well, I, especially if you bought your kids. Especially if you bought my kid's three. I don't trust her yet in the theater. I don't think she'll be able oh, to Oh, hell quiet. no. I don't think she will be quiet. <laughs> she, wow. Dude, there was a kid behind me in the theater who was like, Oh, he has the thing with the thing. I was like, yo, chill. Shut up. Chill. <laughs> Shut the, <laughs> Shut the like, hell up. Get the muzzle. <laughs> that's get a fire flower. And that, I was like, yo, you're saying everything that's in the movie. <laughs> that's a ca- cake feather. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Did he just, he just walked up to her. Yo, chill. Narrator. Yeah, Shut the fuck crazy. up. It was crazy. And the parents was not telling him to be quiet or nothing. Mm. That's why I don't like going to the theater. Yeah. I, I, I really w- wish that you could bring your own headphones. I won't go first. Then. Just hook up your own headphones. That's, That's actually a good that idea. should be a feature. That should I be wish. a good idea. Yeah. And they're like, nah, it's a fire. Or Noise no, no, listen, just have a light flash. Just let me know. They're I'm having Manera planes, man. What the hell? Why can't you do yeah, it? Same, you know? same. If, it's do a, if it's an emergency, to if make the announcement. Plane, you can't do nothing. <laughs> I'm saying if they have it in airplanes. If there's an emergency or an announcement, say, say it, it through the headphones. Headset, yeah. yeah. Why well, don't they put that in a theater? I don't what, know. Uh, what if Nintendo does a? Obviously, they're going to. <coughs> but if they do another um, movie like this, but they mm. are choosing a different franchise, what do you guys all would love to see? Uh, start with you, Mike. What would you uh, love to see? I think I think Metroid would be cool. Metroid. Yeah. Yeah. Metroid would be crazy. I agree with Metroid, but I would like to see that in live action because of like being alone and like you got uh, just that. for the ending in the bikini. <laughs> 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 no, you wouldn't even know she's a woman until the end of the movie. All right, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> but no, I think that like you have to do it like Alien. Like, I'm with you, know, you. I'm with you. You can't do it in animation. I don't know. You can, but it wouldn't be. You, you can, and you can make it dark that same too. I, 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 you know, what, I think of the Smash trailer that they had, and they had when they had it for Ridley. Yeah. And, they, and you had they showed oh, Samus yeah, yeah, yeah. hunting her down. If they did that style, like mm. a movie, oh my god, that'd be fucking crazy. I, would I don't trust any way. actress as Samus. That's why. Brie Larson. No, I don't trust <laughs> any actress as Samus. <laughs> that's who they don't want to be. Uh, and that's uh, the one I don't, person you know. I, I don't want to ruin like that. So Margot, I, I forgot her name. So it doesn't no, matter, man. dude. No. Stop no. throwing blonde Margot, wi- white women Margot out there. <laughs> why would you want Barbie to be her? She's god, skinny, damn. dude. She ain't brolic. Yeah. Hell. What about what about you, Al? You said uh, uh, the movie's already made, dude. I, I say Tetris. Tetris. Then they already made it, so mm. I'm I'm happy with that. Nintendo didn't make that. I'm talking about Nintendo World. Oh, Nintendo. Okay, uh, Punch Out. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what? Animated <laughs> movie. <laughs> animated <laughs> Punch yeah, Out. Yeah, there's animated. An, it'd be an animated Rocky movie. There's yeah. an actual, there's <laughs> I ain't hear no bell. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa. There's an actual possibility. <laughs> really? <laughs> we'll save nothing oh, more. Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you could, obviously Zelda, Zelda. Zelda yes. should be the yeah. next one that they should go for. I, and he better like not be wearing the blue champion's tunic. It's got to be green hat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Down. He's Calm down. Down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you said, Already. Uh, Jay, you said uh, Metroid? I would like Metroid. Yeah. I would like Fire Emblem. Okay. That is the Nintendo Fire party. fucking Emblem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ike is the lead, though. Yeah, it's got to be Radiant. It's got to be Telia Saga. Hmm? Obviously animated. Yeah, oh, yes. hell yeah. yeah. I don't trust anybody with <laughs> that shit. You know, it's funny that people couldn't see it in, in live action. I was like, don't they have Game of Thrones stuff? They can, do it. They can pull it off. <laughs> I can. imagine. Yeah. But I'm, 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 happy. I'm happy Mario did as well as it did. And you guys, if you didn't see it, definitely check it, check it out. Check it out in the theater. And I don't know how long it's going to be in the theater. But hey, I, I, got, I got a bet mm-hmm. that it does over a billion... <laughs> A billion and a half. A billion. So it has to stay in the theater for a little bit, man. Come on, Nintendo. <laughs> Leave it in the theater for a little bit. It's doing a good. Billion. It started good. It started good. Let's see how it goes. A billion. Yeah, definitely check it out if you haven't. Gotcha. Check it out. Yeah. Geek Storian. What's going on? Geek Storian in the building. Get him a douche douche. <laughs> douche douche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And you got the cool popcorn bucket. Not for no $22. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't get, I didn't get that. Thing. Yo, you got to make sure you get those refills, though. When you finish the bucket, I'm you not, go back I'm for more. I'm not that big. I'm not going back. 
<laughs> like, yeah, you can get refilled. As a kid, maybe that's Come fine, on, but man. I ain't going back. Mm. All right, so you got some Nintendo news. No. Yeah. Mm. Nintendo Nintendo Ninjas are at it again. Both Nintendo and Microsoft are at it again. That's just, I said that before I even left. <laughs> 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 so Nintendo wants to subpoena Discord to find out who leaked Zelda Tears of the Kingdom's artwork. Mm. All right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're really going after somebody for And zombies. they're going to have them killed. <laughs> hey, <yeah. laughs> they're going to have them killed. They want them dead. <laughs> I want them dead. It's like, here's a new art book, and it's pictures of their family tied up <laughs> <laughs> in a basement. Oh, oh, how did that leak? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Oh. This is a Picasso. Your arm's over here. <laughs> Your head looks a little mangled. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, all right. So it has some spoilers in it, I'm, I suppose. I'm sure it did. And... I mean, all right, unless you're looking for it. I didn't run into it. Unless you're looking for it to download it to find out and spoil yourself, mm-hmm. I think that you're safe. I mean, unless unless you're in, like, Zelda discords and stuff and people are posting it mm. and, like, spoiling everything. Right. So I can understand how Nintendo would be a little pissed at it, if, especially since they haven't released anything about it. Right. Mm. They haven't told you anything about the game. Mm. I mean, and this was before they even had that last trailer. Right. So they're being ultra cryptic about what's in this Zelda game. So the fact that somebody actually got this art book and leaked it online. Mm -hmm. They're not happy with that. And they're really trying to find them. (laughs) 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 They're trying to find them. They're knocking on doors. They subpoenaed Discord, man, for the the identity. That's crazy. Yeah, Nintendo does not play around with the team. Michael, how do you feel about that, Mike? Yeah, I mean, I don't think... I mean, I... I think they're kind of – they don't want to set a precedent of letting that stuff go because I'm assuming whoever link, leaked it had signed an NDA mm-hmm. right. or the person they got it from signed an NDA. And so Nintendo's just trying to enforce that. And I feel like if they don't go after this and, you know, the gloves are off, it'll just lead to more and more shit getting leaked that they don't want leaked. And, and historically, they've, they've always been pretty tight-lipped about mm-hmm. stuff. So. Yep. Well, you know, I, mean, I know if it was if it was my game, and we're at a, obviously <laughs> a much, 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 much smaller scale. Mm-hmm. But you know, I'd be pissed if something got out that we, I didn't want out. Mm-hmm. You know, true. Maybe exactly. it's not final. You know, may, well, for whatever reason. Um, so I, I can totally see their point on it. Yeah, I mean, they were, they go hard when Pokemon leaks. They have Pokemon information leak all the time, mm-hmm. weeks beforehand. The game leaks beforehand. This Zelda game is going to leak about a week beforehand. It's going to happen. Always. If it's not even like a month. I'm surprised it's not out yet. The The final <laughs> trailer is on the 15th. And that's when the game is going to leak. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And everything after that, you. everything will be out for it. <laughs> I guarantee oh. you people will be posting the end of the game yeah. the day after that, too. And I'm like, how do y'all have time it's crazy, to get man. to the end of the game on the first day? Super fans, man. Yeah. But, I mean, Fanatics. Nintendo never really went after. I mean, they, they are Nintendo. They do go after everybody. Yeah. But... <laughs> I think they did go after the Pokemon uh, leakers. I don't know what happened with that. I don't follow anything. You haven't heard from them again. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you don't know? They're gone. Got They're the gone. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Erased. <laughs> Apparently, Pokemon was unfinished to begin with. So <laughs> they, got, they probably got the finished version. Their <laughs> lives are unfinished. They're gone. <laughs> no, they are finished. <laughs> well, they're, yeah, they're finished the now. they finished is you. <laughs> they're finished. But... But yeah, I'm I'm not shocked that they would try. I want I want I want to see what they do, and what happens with this if they find this person. I want to know what the what the what the consequences. Do? Yeah, what would they do? To them? You'll never get a job in this industry again. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the voice. <laughs> Sleep with the fishes. I, whenever it's it's always a sleazy voice. Whenever we talk about Nintendo, you know, so it's like well, and it's funny. I'm a Nintendo fan. I'm a big Nintendo fan, but I find I just. I feel like there's some sleazy shit that they do on the low, dude. I swear to like God. Like a used car salesman? Yeah, it looks like, <laughs> it's like grimy shit. Yeah. Well, the first th- yeah, the- but you know, you got to remember, it's like you got to protect your IP. That's all this yeah. legal shit that yeah. goes on. And it's true. That, that's why they go after it. Like, I didn't really get it either until I released my own game where, again, I didn't really have to deal with this that much. But, you know, you kind of understand a little different perspective where – if you don't, if you don't go after one person, you can't go after the next person who That's may true. do it a little bit mm. better, or, or you know, eventually it's going to cost them money, you know. And obviously, as fans, we all want them to keep making games. Uh, yeah. We don't want them to go out of business. So for Nintendo, it might not matter as much because they're, you know, they got a ton of money. But for smaller, smaller companies, you may not be able to afford something like that. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, imagine if they had a list of all the characters you had planned for your game yeah. before it even came out. And you're like, oh, well, there goes the secret. Yeah. I was trying to right. announce that. Nice reveal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every character you had was revealed yeah. before it came out. Then Mike yeah. Herman's going to have to start hunting people down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll kidnap their fucking family. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, whoa. You see him with a sniper scope. <laughs> <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> I made the game. <laughs> put it down or I put you down. <laughs> you're the next character <laughs> in my game. Dying. <laughs> Dying. Damn. <laughs> I'm more for Nintendo doing this than usually they are for going after like fan projects. That they well, they go after that always. Well, they go after yeah, tournaments. Well, well I, <laughs> I actually thought that when they went after the uh, Mario 64 thing, I thought I thought that was a smart move because mm-hmm. I know they're doing something. Well, whenever they're making it, yeah, yeah, it's just they like, want it gone. Yeah, it's just even, like, even when they stole the idea of the Mario, yeah, 99. Uh, 99? Yeah, when they yeah, stole yeah, that, yeah. made Mario 30 I was or like, 35. Wow. Mario 35. <laughs> they're like, Mario 35. Uh, nope. Don't you dare. And it's like, nah, we were thinking of that. He stole it from <laughs> us. I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah. yeah. But when they were making the Metroid, the another Metroid game or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, when they were doing that and they were actually making Metroid 2 over Return right. of Samus, I understood that maybe. Mm-hmm. But when they do something like that, I think they should, and, it, and it's such a good game, I think they should hire the person who made that game and just give them a little bit and be like, you'll release this on our store. Didn't right. Sega do that? Uh, Sega did uh, hire the guy who worked on mods for Sonic, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And he made Sonic Mania. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and it's a great game. And right. that and the the Metroid game that the guy made was pretty dope. It's almost better than the, the Hire these one dudes, man. Yeah. Hire these people. And just have it available. You don't especially since they don't have to put anything into it. I mean if they didn't ruin the game, if they didn't represent your character the wrong way. Right. And mm-hmm. they did it they and they did it good. They'd be like, listen, all right, here's Two like two grand like right. Right, whatever that's nothing to Nintendo. Yeah, like here you go. Now we can sell it out store. You can make one percent of the purchases or something. Yeah, something. And, you yeah. know they're gonna rip them off anyway. But I mean, yeah. if it's a freeware game that they're gonna just download anyway, right? Set it up. Don't yeah. d- don't have them delete all the years of work. That's mm-hmm. too much. Yeah, that's too much. But there's a second party this month. Huh? Yes. Uh oh. Microsoft restricts the use of emulators on the Xbox Series console. Damn. And you know why? <laughs> Apparently, it's because Nintendo told them <laughs> to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Got <Gotti! laughs> That's the word going around. Because, well, I mean, they I said, so, that, yeah. they said uh, that the I, emulators were available on the retail side of the, uh, the Microsoft mm. systems. And I, I was like, I, I thought it was only available to, for the uh, developer mode. They had. For developer mode, where you pay like 20 bucks to be a developer. Right. And that opens it for you to download. Yeah. The, the files available to do the emulation. And, and that was fine. But apparently they were figuring out a way to do it on the retail ones. And they kept changing it every month. Uh, and they would figure it out again. And then, and then and then when they had like Dolphin available where you could play the, the Wii right. and the GameCube. Yeah. And you could play them really well. Real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you like could, like, high high res- resolution. 4K everything. and everything. Yeah. And they were like, oh, um, excuse me, Microsoft? <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. What are you guys allowing this for, first of all? Right. But I mean, it's... If you pay for developer mode, you can still do it. Yeah. If you have a PC, you can still do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it made it a lot easier for people to do it. I didn't. I wasn't even aware. I didn't even try it. I never tried it. PC. I you never have tri- it on there. I never tried it either. But I've seen, uh, you know, you've seen, seen videos. videos yeah. yeah, I've seen pe- it, videos of people really doing it. Good. It looks mm. cool. But they said that maybe Nintendo went after <laughs> them because Microsoft said, "If you let us get this Activision game, <laughs> we'll help out and get rid of all this stuff going on." About the simulation stuff. And very Sony. I mean, what? Because <laughs> 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 obviously, because they said we'll give you ten years of, of Call of Duty and blah blah blah. So maybe this will, you know, maybe this means we'll help you out. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's not. I, I understand. I understand. But then they said that Xbox, Microsoft already said that um, they are going to try and make some some parts of emulation available for people. So I'm thinking that's maybe RetroArch. Trying mm-hmm. to get like how on Steam Deck, they get licensing for that. Yeah, because on Steam Deck you can download RetroArch yeah. on Steam Deck. Yes, legit. Yes, so uh, I can see that maybe happening. They only messed up when they advertised uh, Nintendo. Oh yeah, with, yeah, the, with yeah. the Switch, <laughs> switch yeah, emulation yeah. on the on the, on in the, the commercial Deck, <laughs> on the Steam Deck. They had a picture. Yeah, that, Nintendo's not having that. I was like, you know, I'm surprised they let that. That go. was ballsy, man. Yeah, but they didn't let anybody like doing yeah. reviews on the right. Like talk about Nintendo. They're right, very right, strict right. about. But I mean, they would probably tell you which cores are available on there and stuff right. like that. Nintendo cores, or especially like Switch and like GameCube and Wii. I don't know. I, I think that Nintendo wouldn't 
how he's having such a big problem if they just give us an online store. Yeah. There you go. Like, yeah. More That's shit. Right on the head, right there. Exactly. They yeah. can't you just. Know, it's like you can't give me more than fifteen old <laughs> NES games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You're like Gunsmoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. It's. Yeah. They need a store, man. That's yeah, what they're missing. After they give us Earthbound, that's all we <laughs> give <laughs> us Mother Three. Yeah. Mother Three. I'm kind of yeah, hoping that they the new system is gonna uh, have a uh, store. Emphasize with yeah, like a store. Well, like when they have them. a store, then they get rid of the store. <laughs> so what does it matter? Yeah, well, Sony got rid of their stores, and Nintendo actually they just got rid of their store. Well, that's for the older. Yes, that's for the older stores, though. But I still, know, but you can't buy that stuff. That's why people want to emulate. <laughs> that's why. No, that's the reason I mean, yeah, why. That's true. And true. Because the day this went live. Was the day after the store closed? Yep. They said, "Oh, you can still get all these games yep. and play it on Microsoft and Xbox system." So yeah, then they were like, "Oh, well, you're <laughs> ruining our, our our new store idea." <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if Nintendo's gonna have a new store. How hard can it? I mean, it's probably ridiculously hard. They got to get emulators to run on the Switch that run those, but they have them. They'll probably run on Xbox. That, what those are the <laughs> ones that run their retro. Uh, yeah, the retro games that they do on their they online. Have those are emulators. What if they um, uh, sell it to Microsoft, like as an emulator, just the emulators? But well, they probably the Microsoft's <coughs> probably like, "Yo, we'll sell you these emulators." Right. So now you can have a store. Exactly. <laughs> and they're like, "Okay." Like you sell it, but we get a we get a cut. The person who made the emulators won't get a cut. No. It's Nintendo. But Nintendo <laughs> will be like, like, "We'll sue you. <laughs> <laughs> we will take you down. Get that money. <laughs> <laughs> we will send our Nintendo ninjas to your door." Yeah, word. <laughs> Give us this now. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it could be anything. But yeah. it's it's always Nintendo stopping stuff. Yeah. You don't see Sega knocking on Microsoft's door. Like, Yo, Sega doesn't I even mean, know they, they have they certain things. Even they don't even know what they have. <laughs> You're doing stuff with what franchise? <laughs> <laughs> we, hit, we still have that? We still own that? We oh, still sure. have that? <laughs> <laughs> the Pants and Dragon? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> that was us? Jet Set? Oh. I think we're working on something, Jet Set. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Something so with a Jet in the title. Coming out. Yeah, Ultra yeah. Beast. Yeah. yeah. Ultra Beast. Yeah. Like, yeah, what, the, what the hell is that? <laughs> Golden Axe? <laughs> yeah, Golden <laughs> They'll it's available. Just it. play it on the Xbox. Space Harrier. We don't need that. <laughs> Just play it on the Xbox. What are these titles you speak of? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let us know if you think that uh, <laughs> that it was wrong for the emulation to be pulled off of, off of Xbox. Yeah. Damn it. They should have done know? it. Not you. <laughs> yeah, Damn. Talking to the audience. Yes. Damn. Yes. Yes. What up, Geek Story? What's going on? Yo. Geek Story. Geek Story. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, yes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Whoa. Yeah. Cowabunga Collection surpasses one million sales. They were on fire I'm since Shredder's Revenge. I'm surprised because I wasn't. I mean, listen, Same. because we have because we have emulators. Yeah, those games weren't really out of the league of not being able to play. Mm. But like for, co I, for collectors, though, that's that's a huge. Oh deal, no, it's a great collection. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Yeah. It's a great collection of a ton. Was it twelve games? How many games? Yeah. Thirteen, maybe. I think twelve or thirteen. Twelve or thirteen, something like that. And they had Game Boy. They had, I mean, they all weren't the best, <laughs> the no. were the best emulated on there. No, but at Tournament Fighters, yeah, it did yeah, have Tournament yeah. Fighters. It had the one that nobody can get too. The Super Nintendo one was great, but they had the NES one on there, which I never played and never really cared to. But <laughs> some of those games are <laughs> yeah. expensive. But I mean, they had the arcades on there. They yeah. weren't yeah. They were really available. Yeah. They were on like True. what was it, Xbox Arcade or something? Xbox Live well, Arcade at one point, yeah. Yeah, and then you know, licensing took them down. Right. Same with Simpsons. I'm surprised mm. they didn't do that yet. But, I mean, Konami has been silent for the longest, but they have been coming out with some collections. Like yeah. the Castlevania one, the Contra one, and the Ninja Turtles one. They have, they have those. They know how to sell old stuff. I mean, it's a good, it's a good setup, too. Like, that, that whole, the whole collection setup on there was really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, they have the art. They have the, like, the history. There's a lot. It's I a good presentation. I'm just shocked because I'm like, damn, a lot of people like I mean, I guess that's, that's nostalgia for you. That's you know. Mm. Well, <laughs> Turtles is one of the only properties deal. that keeps coming back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it keeps coming back generation, generation, generation. Kids cannot get enough yeah. of Ninja Turtles. Yeah. No, of I can't, all, man. Of all things. Before you see a Thundercats, before you see another G.I. Joe be as successful. As and, it, and it goes so many generations, it's too. It's Turtles. It just keeps, <laughs> keeps going back. Yeah. And they don't, they, they're all successful. Like, you can say, what, what are you a fan of? 2003 Turtles, mm -hmm. 2007 Turtles, <laughs> the, ni the 90s Turtles. Like, yep. there's somebody who loves a section of Turtles. Yeah. It's crazy. But, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that they sold a million. I'm, I wonder how much the uh, Revenger Shredder sold. 
Shredder's, Shredder's Revenge. Revenge. Shredder's Revenge. <laughs> the Revenge. I was, I was like, like wait, Revenge is what? Talking about the sequel? The, I'm talking about... <laughs> the movie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the, B, the B.O.R. version. <laughs> <laughs> I remember they took the, they took the, uh, the one for... What was it? They made the uh, they made one of them and two. They were saying uh, Shredder's Revenge. Say that again. I forget which which one it was. The Genesis or was it? They made Hyper-Sung. a home version. They made Hyper-Sung a home Sung version Hyper-Sung? into that, and they put them in again. The oh, they took Streets of Rage two, and put <laughs> oh. and put that game, put the turtles in it. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, yes, and yes, it was yes, the Genesis, yes. and it looked amazing. Yeah, they changed all the animation. They put all the characters in there. It was that's ridiculous. Right. Yeah, uh, Shredder's Revenge. Um, Sold one million copies within the, a week of release. Ooh, damn. damn. So they're wow. just on fire. <laughs> yeah. They're just on fire. Jeez. A week of release. And to believe that they don't have a new Turtles game, like besides a 2D one. Right. They don't have like a triple A Turtles game that sells a million in the first week. They keep like, talking oh. about the the last Ronin. I mean, they got people excited. But I'd rather have a four player online open world of Turtles game. Like, that would be f- like. You don't want like a stealth the Gotham, uh, Turtles game? No, I'm sorry. Take the Gotham, <laughs> if there's some stealth, stealth in it, it'll be all right. There's some stealth is okay. Take yeah. the Gotham Knights engine, make it a Turtles game. Million soul <laughs> yes. already yeah, done. That's, that's fine. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a good fine. idea. But instead, they want God of War and one turtle. I'm like, ah, really? Yeah. Really? I mean, that's probably going to be a good game. Don't get me wrong. I just right. never am a cool with the, just the one turtle. I mean, that uh, storyline. Co-op, line, man. I read. I, I followed that story when it was being released, and it seemed interesting. It was right. pretty dark. But the original Turtles was pretty dark. Begin with. Yeah, mm-hmm. really dark. Yeah, so make that. Make the Ninja Turtles Mirage comics. Ah, uh, they ain't going to mess with the gravy train, though. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, Prince money, man. They won't do that. Yeah. Nah, they they keep it for kids to yeah. keep the money coming in. That's it. Out of the Shadows was the 360 one, right? People like to forget that. Yeah. 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 That needed like maybe two more months in the oven. It needed more and money. And it was, it was, yeah, it needed it more good. money. And it was really good, though. The upgrade, like when you upgrade with different moves yeah, and skill, it like was, they it were. It was nearly there. It was, it was so close. Had a good system. Had a good system. <laughs> it was so close. Mm-hmm. They had the, they had the, the, the first movie's uh, rap song. Ew. <laughs> not the rap song, I'm sorry. The, uh, go Ninja, the intro. Go Ninja, go Ninja. <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> no, they had the, they had the actual Turtle theme song. They yeah, did, that, they redid it. The dark, the dark one. You know, like that. Uh, doesn't have lyrics, though. But it, like, the the, uh, the openings. Um, well, Raphael, he's the leader of the group. Transformed by the power of the nuclear group. Partners yes. in Crime. <laughs> <laughs> that was, was the that? name of the, the group that sang that. Oh, Partners, Partners in Crime. <laughs> Partners in Crime. <laughs> Turtle Power. Yeah, Oh, you're talking about yes, that, that, yeah, that chorus. Yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah, the that. chorus part. Yeah, it's when they spell it out. But you know not how hard it was though. to get that license. For not it? A, you're not talking about this. Oh, ah. oh. oh get that <laughs> out of here! Get that shit out of here! Get that go ninja. Did I try to watch Turtles two again? It's awful. Don't watch Turtles two. Turtles two was one garbage. aged fine. And I liked. Two I haven't as seen a it. Kid. I liked two as a kid. I saw it when I was a kid. I haven't seen it recently. Dude, so. it was trash. One it's is still doesn't dope. hold up. One is still dope. One is dope. It's still dope. very dope. One's still good. Yep. One is amazing. One is great. Yeah. Two doesn't hold up, huh? No. no. I never saw three, and I never will. I'm oh, not. I saw three. I'm not, like, ro- I'm not rocking with that. Michelangelo is fighting with fish. I, saw oh, I would watch it as a punishment. <laughs> I would watch Turtles 3 as a punishment. Actually, it's... I saw the end, it's and I funny. said, that is garbage. It was drawn. <laughs> it's, somebody, it's bad. Fell, somebody fell from somewhere and was drawn and animated. I was like, that's, <laughs> that's ugly. It was that bad. Ugly. It was bad, but it was like... I'm, it wasn't a... Uh, what is it? Like... From what I remember, I, I saw it on VHS because it was straight to VHS. Part two? Three. Uh, no, was in the three. Oh, that was in the movies. Three I saw was, two in the movies. It was in the movies. Three was, three in, the was movies. in the movies? Yeah. Probably for like a, a weekend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I used to say the same thing about Back to the Future 3, and that was actually decent. Mm-hmm. I, it took me a long time to watch Back really? to the Future 3. A long time. Why did the turtles' outfits, like the, the actual the turtle, turtle why did they look worse <laughs> as it kept going? Oh, the, the animation. There was like no puppeteering it like, at all. It, it looked like, like the, they were melting or something. <laughs> like it was like rotting and no, it was like moldy. I think, I think something. Jim Henson didn't <laughs> work on those no. costumes. It looked fucking terrible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, because they had like polka dots. Like they weird. Did. It was uh, awful. And their they eyes didn't have the budget. You ever see what the costumes look like now? Oh, they're like rotted, right? They're, they're like, like melting, and they they're look like, like evil. horror. They're like horror movies. It's evil. Yes. It's <laughs> evil. They spent all the money paying Vanilla Ice for the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's loving that. Yes, he's loving that. That was a big old check. Oh, still no. getting royalties. Still, still getting royalties. Listen, Turtles obviously still does well, and I'm sure it's gonna do another million. So we'll see. I mean, I'm surprised, but also not surprised. <laughs> mm. Turtles as a license is that Prince money, and they did a good job. Konami make a new game. <laughs> yeah, true. I think you should. Make a new game. Yeah. Right. They're almost there. 
And so, this is the last news of the night. Sony is gearing up for a new cloud gaming push amid rumors of a PlayStation handheld. Oh, right. That's That's, that's pretty much how everybody feels. (laughs) Because if they're making a cloud based system uh, (laughs) that doesn't play new games, only streams games, Mm -hmm. I heard it doesn't, might not use the internet. It would just use something similar to how the, the Wii U play games. You have to be in the vicinity of the system. Like, oh, uh, no. That's but it worse. wouldn't, I mean, it wouldn't play laggy, I guess. You go five feet and it's like, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I got them. <laughs> but they want, I mean, I've heard that it can also be a companion piece for the PS5 because it is for the PS5. It's an accessory. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only thing that. 500. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, only yeah, thing, yeah. the only thing that would like ruin that completely is the price. Mm-hmm. If it's anything over, I mean, at most. Yeah. And it's Sony because. At most, you can do that with the Vita and the PS4, but you can. But yeah. it was never great. Some people, it depends yeah. on the internet, obviously. Mm. But the fact that it's only cloud, yeah. I don't think we're there. Do you guys think we're there yet? No, nope. for cloud. No, man. Like and we could probably pull it off with the internet that we have. Pretty yeah, but decently, they depending d- on what you're playing. What is it? Uh, what was it? LG, I think, is the company that released the 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 G Cloud. It was a handheld but it had a G cloud, cloud service. Yeah. And it was like $350. Handheld. It's $350. Now it's $250 instantly. But it's, it, I mean. At least that had the Android operating system on it. You can still play emulators on that. You can. Like you can do more with that. You can. That, you think Sony's going to have Android on that? No, but people will hack it, though. Well, <laughs> no, they said legit that, that it is, it. it's going to be like a, du- like, this is, none of this is, all this is rumor anyway. Yeah, it yeah. could be nothing. Right. But they said from reports it's basically a PS5 controller split in half with an eight, uh, uh, eight-inch eight screen. Right. That was the patent for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that what a, it, that's what that's it That's all is. it was. And that sounds fine. Right. But if it's not going to play, I, I don't think they'd survive if it's an actual portable like the Vita 2. I don't think Sony no, would well, be able to pull that off. I think there's a market for it because, I mean, they, ha- they have the exclusives. Uh, not with everything. Not with the Steam Deck. They also have the, the, well, they also have the library as well from everything from PSP and the, and the Vita. They have a lot of games. Huge you think library. they make a game for it is what I'm saying. They made but No, well, I, I don't. Uncharted. I don't. I, well, think of this. Think of this. Uh, Steam Deck, right? Does that have a? Did they make a game for that? You no, that that's a library that. But I'm saying that's a. Li- all of that. But I'm saying that's that's a library of games that's available for that system. You exactly. You play it on PC, but the reason why you buy the handheld yeah, so you can pl- you, you can't play, play the whole PlayStation right. library. No. What's that? Because it'll work the same way. Like all the third party games won't automatically work on it because you got to relicense them. Yep. Mm. That's why Steam has the advantage, and plus the price. Yeah. Right. They have all the Sony games on there already. You think Sony's going to release Spider-Man for this? It's not going to be as powerful. It's not going to be a 500, hopefully. It won't be a $500 system, $800 system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah. Charlie Max at 399 Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and this, thing, no, if this thing can't even, you can't even stream PlayStation games outside the house. Inside right. the house only. But they said this might be a Trojan horse to allow the PlayStation Plus service to only be available on that. I that. For mm. portability. Who the hell? Then you can play everything from PlayStation so Plus. On it. Listen, I, I always said I wanted an Xbox Live Arcade portable that could play all the indie games that the Xbox had, which mm-hmm. is basically what a Steam Deck does. That's now. what I'm saying. So That's like what it, it does now. But I've been asking for that from Microsoft. For years, but if you want a competitor to the Steam Deck, that that's a it has Sony's to be. It has to be a Steam Deck. <laughs> well, yeah, mm-hmm. play it outside the house, like the outside the house thing yeah. is. Yeah. Yes. You know, like this thing better be like fifty bucks to one hundred dollars. Yeah, the, the cloud, <laughs> the cloud <laughs> base, <laughs> the cloud base thing is just not. So I'm not sold on that, man. Dude, like, all I gotta say is, if it's cloud outside the house, <laughs> you know, it's like cloud is, inside no, you the need, house. You need all I gotta say is Vita TV. <laughs> I yeah, bought yeah, one of those yeah. for super cheap. I don't know. I why. never turned that thing on. I don't know why. And that was for streaming. That was for streaming PS4 and playing Vita on TV. But it was for <laughs> streaming your system on another TV. Yes. That's what the plan was for it. I don't think that Sony's up to doing something like that. And I swear, it's going Mm-mm. to fail dramatically. Uh, if this <laughs> it's is gonna true. It's going to be a huge... <laughs> I will buy one of those for 50 bucks when they drop. Right. And fire... <laughs> like It's going to be a fire sale. <laughs> and they're going to they're gonna give these away when you buy a PlayStation 5. Yep. And that's what's going to happen. I, this is not a good idea if this is indeed what they're Hopefully, to do. it's not true, man. Yeah, it's awful. What do you think, uh, Mike? 
I don't know. I think everything's going to go eventually. Maybe not in the next gen, but you know how, like, smart TVs, everything's built in now? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, they want it to be that way. I think eventually, and I think I don't think it's too far off, because some of these single board computers you can get now, these, like, mm-hmm. tiny Intel boxes, right. and the onboard graphics, you can already play. Like, like, look at the Steam Deck. You can play Spider-Man on that, and that game is, what, three years old now, or four years yeah. old? Yep. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff's catching up pretty soon. You're just going to buy the controller of choice, and it's not going to end. You're going to subscribe to PlayStation Plus right. or or Game Pass, and you're going to pick mm. whatever, you get, or both, and it's going to work on your TV, period. Yeah. And you're just going to have to buy a controller. That's or the, the TVs game. will partner with them, and they'll come with a controller. Well, Xbox Samsung, is already doing that. Samsung it's, did it with Xbox. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, that's the end game. They want the internet yeah, to be I don't that think we're that far though. off from that. I don't know why they would develop another system based around that your phone can do technology. it it's, it's a tough sell right now your at this point in time can do it for three hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> i know for three hundred well easy. look at look at uh oh just uh stadia i mean that's stadia a cloud-based and that was, was affordable good. right so yeah but yeah. it failed yeah I ultimately know, because everyone I mean, doesn't have that internet exactly so it's like right so we now know the plan right now obviously yes that's where the industry is heading but I don't think we're there yet. What if they license Stadia and this portable? <laughs> it's like, we just bought this for super cheap from Google, and now it's going to be in our portable. Yeah. Or whatever it is, man. Listen, yeah, you got to look at the internet connections, too, though. Like, yeah. I know, you know, if you live near a city, your internet's pretty good, but right. if you go out to, be... to rural, rural parts of the country, yep. at yep. least in the U.S., the internet's yep. not as good. Yep. You'll have to be able to do this yeah. from 5G. Or 6G at the time, at whatever, least whatever that is, which it gets has expensive. To be 5G everywhere, <clears throat> but then it has to be able to do it there. Because what do you leave the house? What are you doing mm-hmm. on Wi Fi? What are you doing? <laughs> you gotta go to McDonald's, <laughs> Starlink, <man. laughs> you gotta go to Starbucks, Starlink, <laughs> Starlink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it has to be something like that <laughs> yeah, available that. everywhere, right? At the same, we're not there yet, and we've no. said this every time. That's mm-hmm. why Microsoft didn't come out with the little flash dongle. drive, yeah, the dongle thing they were talking about, right? And even though they did show a picture that. Maybe the thing on the desk on the back of uh, what's his name's room, uh, but they haven't released that because we're not there yet. Yeah. But you know they still they still sell you the subscriptions. Eventually, <laughs> they still sell you subscriptions. Eventually, they'll get there. But and then they'll cut off everything. Yeah, and then you're like, you got a subscription? You don't need none of this. <laughs> it's done. Yeah. All you're doing is subscribing to everything. Yep. Wow. Yep. They can play a Netflix game. They got that still coming too. I don't know what's going Netflix on. Netflix game. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I was uh, Netflix. Real quick, I was talking to my, my boss today and uh, telling him, I was like, I just ordered a PS5. I'm going to pick it up after work. He's like, oh, cool, man. He's like, are the games cheap now since it's been out for a while? <laughs> and I'm uh, like, well, no. <laughs> well. PlayStation Plus, you get yeah, but then I was like, games. I was like, yeah, well, you get, yeah, exactly. You get two get free games a month. He's like, it's a subscription service? I'm like, yeah. He's like, damn, man. So you got Netflix, you got Hulu, <laughs> you got oh, yeah. all PlayStation your Plus, you got the Ted. I'm, like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, man. It's, it's the industry now, man. Everything Dude, is subscription. Game Pass, my Game Pass is about to run out <laughs> in like a month. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm like 15 bucks a month. Whatever. Just throw it. It's going to happen. I do it in I'm a just going to have to do... <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. It's, yeah, gonna, yeah. it's still going to pay for more. I'm just going to pay for more. Because right. mm-hmm. at some point, we're going to have to pay online. Yep. Like, oh, now I got to sign up. It's like they make this. it. You have to get it because you have exactly. to play online. It's yep. like the only way you could freaking play online. So I might as well. I mean, it's worth it. Still, it's not, it's not. It's something that you can't not do because it's so right. worth it. It's it is still worth it though. Because mm-hmm. if I play two games, like I said, if I play once online with you guys on right. one of these games, right. Two of these games a year, it like, already pays for itself. All right, I would have bought the game to do it. Right. So it's fine. Exactly. It's Even if you bought cheap. it on sale, it's still I don't like it. <laughs> and especially since you don't own it. Right. That's the fact that you're not going to own anything. And they swapped the library also. So you're going to buy this freaking hunk of junk from Sony <coughs> that can't do anything when they yeah. shut that thing off. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like yeah. You got this, this screen that can't even make a call. It's going to be a brick. Or Game exactly. Pass when they when they swap libraries and get That's what's going to suck. <laughs> that sucks, man. That's and it's like, yeah, I, yeah, I finally get time do, to play right? it. Like, if you look at games, they haven't dropped. When we were all kids, we were paying 60, 70 bucks a game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 no, it's, it's and now they haven't gone up, and it definitely the dollar's not worth as much as it was 30 years ago. Yeah, right. so the games are really cheaper now than they were when we were kids. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. way cheaper. Atari games were 50 bucks, weren't they? Yep, yeah, like it's crazy. Yeah. 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 Star 4 was a hundred bucks, it was, yeah, yeah. it's a hundred bucks. So I'm saying people complain about oh, a 70 dollar game, it's like you want have 20 dollars. Two is saying it's 70 bucks, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Always been 64 price. bucks for every Super Nintendo game I bought. Yeah, that's yeah. without tax. The kicker is the controllers. Controllers, <laughs> oh, are way more. Yeah, well, that, controllers that actually, is the, that jumped up in price. That jumped up 
They well, because of the stuff that they added yeah, to them. Yeah, technology. Added, I'm not, I'm not buying that PlayStation so 5 $200 controller, I'll tell you that. I did buy the arcade stick, though, for $120. I did buy an arcade stick. Damn, $200 for it. Nah. Video game controller? Man, what a steak. Well, somebody was looking at it today. What <laughs> <A> steak? <laughs> <Does> no. <laughs> somebody was looking at the, the PlayStation one today. I was like, you got to pay $200 for that for the last two hours? Like, the battery lasts two hours. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, on, man. And I was like, you're going to pay $200 for that. That's wild, Come man. On, don't let Kev hold that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep that away. <laughs> it's like, you're going to wire your controller again. Let me grip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. That's break like it. broken inside. I'll treat that one with respect. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, me, right. personally, I don't think we're at the level where we need Something that just streams, especially when we have the options of something like a Steam Deck, something like a, a Win Four, something like even the cloud-based stuff that has Android, right? And all the portable systems that they you all can play all the emulators that. on. Mm-hmm. It's so much to choose from. Even at sixty dollars, you can get a little a little portable to play games. My on. my Retroid Pocket uh, yeah. Three Plus that 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 does streaming. Yeah, uh, freaking. You can do that you on can do any that screen. screen basically, pretty much anything that has internet. <laughs> yeah. And you already, pretty much everyone has a phone that can do it. And you can just buy right. the PlayStation, what, the backbone for mm-hmm. 100 bucks, right. And that thing is just the controller for 100 bucks. Yep. You think this thing is going to be 200 <laughs> This no. thing is going to be 350 <laughs> yeah. 400 There will be, be a 300 yeah. There will be at least Easy. a 3 in front of that. 399 yeah. Yeah, yeah. until it's 50 or free. Yeah. <laughs> they <need to> throw <laughs> until, until it doesn't sell. Or free. Until Within it the doesn't year. sell. Within the yeah. year. Until it stays on the so store if shelves. Want, <laughs> if you want a collectible... <laughs> Yeah. You might as well just buy this thing. When it's super cheap, don't open it. And right. I just that's it. That's all it's gonna be. That's a smart move. Put it with all your other collectible old PlayStation <laughs> stuff they don't support. <laughs> wow. Like the oh, VR. Yeah. Huh? What's that? Remember that the PlayStation Eye camera? Yeah. Uh, I have it. I have the, the eye toy. toy. Yes. I have the eye toy. Eye toy. Yes. I played yep. nights on eye toy, and I was so tired. I got the eye <laughs> toy. <laughs> you had to flap your arms. It's crazy. <laughs> that was garbage. Playing board games on it wasn't bad though. Well, of course, you could play Uno. Yeah, what was a card game? There was a card game for it that I played a li- very little bit of. I can't remember <laughs> the name of it. It was like it wasn't a bad. trading card game, and the, the, the eye toy would scan the cards. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. It wasn't bad. They had, I mean, they tried. Bad. They tried with all the Kinect stuff and all that. It's, it, that's, that's long gone. It's niche, man. <laughs> it's a niche thing. <laughs> Charlie Mack, I repeat, three ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it's going to be. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I agree completely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It needs to come with a PSVR 2 headset. <laughs> well, we'll see if that drops in prices. We'll see by the time. Yeah. We'll get all that stuff it. for 200 bucks. Oh. We'll get the whole package together. Oh, man. 200 bucks. That's wild. At the very least. <laughs> it's fucking wild. That's what I'll get it. Not We're the like, controller. Get it then. No, the controller's still going to be 200 Yeah, that's just... <laughs> it's too expensive. It's ridiculous. It's too expensive. Maybe the Labo version will be under 300 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Labo. Labo, <laughs> the Labo version. Lab- Labo VR is only worth a dollar. <laughs> That still fascinates me. We <laughs> sold y'all cardboard. Yes. And y'all people, bought and people cardboard. Looked at it. And people bought it. And people looked at it and stood up for that. Yo, said, Yo Nintendo's amazing. Yeah. Nintendo genius. got some balls. <laughs> <laughs> they got some build a, a cardboard balls. clubhouse with their Somebody child. ordered some extra boxes. What are we going to do with all this? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> they, dre- they dress that shit up like it's actually something new. No, yeah. it's Nobody cardboard. It. Nobody dissed it. Though. No, 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 no one ever said anything bad about the lab. Crazy. Yeah. Hop out the lab. No, they deleted them all. <laughs> yeah, they all deleted the bad, every, every one of them. Every bad you, comment from the earth. I bet you Labo is still sixty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> if you can is. find it, if you can find it, if store, you can, yeah. I bet you it's still expensive. Nintendo Jeez. Labo. I'm looking at that right now. Get on eBay. You can have my old cardboard. How much you selling that for? Oh. Used, used Labo. Oh. That is hilarious. Amazon Labo variety kit, one nineteen ninety nine. Damn, one nineteen. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a variety kit. You probably can play a lot of games with all that variety. Not a dollar nineteen. <laughs> nope. <laughs> God damn. No. Nope. Well, I mean, that's collector's it, item so. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a collect. Yeah, definitely collector's item. <laughs> which is what all this is gonna be. So Sony, <laughs> <laughs> Sony. I mean, listen. I hope y'all got a good plan. And let us know, guys, let us know if you're going to buy this if it comes out. If that interests you, cloud mm-hmm. gaming. Or if it's even true. <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they hear all this and it's like, nah. Yeah. We're just going to cancel that. Hopefully it is. <laughs> we're going to cancel it. <laughs> yeah, we're going like, to cancel, cancel. cancel We're not going to yeah. be that stupid. It's a, failed, it's a failed experiment. Or they'll just put a screen <laughs> in the controller and then charge you $400. Yeah. Basically, that's what it is anyway. Oh. <laughs> Boo. But yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, y'all. <laughs> we're going to take a little bit of a break. Right. Because I got to use the bathroom. Yo, this and, uh, bug in this room needs to die. Well, we can do that <laughs> right now. That. So we'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> Stay tuned because we got more for ya. Oh, 
Hell yes. And why are you guys waiting for everybody to get back? The level 857 monthly game giveaway is live right now on 857ENT.com slash giveaway. Head over there right now. Sign in. As soon as you sign in, you're eligible to win the free game. But I recommend to make sure that you try as many entries that are there. They have different points. If you sign into a previous giveaway, there are loyalty points for the new giveaways to uh, take advantage of. And maybe that will improve your uh, chances of winning a free digital game. There's going to be a winner every single month. Every single month we're going to be giving this out. So make sure you guys make sure. This is the way, I, the way we're going to be giving back. We're going to give back to the audience and everybody who hears us for the first time. And people who have been listening to us for years. So that's where it's going to be. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mike, you still there? Ah, he's taking a break too. Everyone's taking breaks at the right time. Now, uh, if you want chat, let us know what games you have been playing. I saw somebody was doing a, uh, a Resident Evil 4 remake. The game is awesome. The game is great. I can only beat the demo. I can't dive into Resident Evil 4 right now. God knows how many times I've played and beaten the original. But the remake is awesome. And once it's 20 bucks, I'll be getting it. I'll be getting it. I wonder if that's everyone's favorite Resident Evil game that's going on right now. It's usually the favorite. When everyone talks about favorite Resident Evil games, they're talking about Resident Evil 4. I wonder if the remake is now taking that spot. I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. It's, it's absolutely insane. But the level 857 monthly game giveaway is live. Tons of games that we're ready to give away. But who's going to be that lucky winner? Who's going to get it? A random draw determines it every single month. I never know. I never know. I hit the button. It pops somebody's name up. And that's how it goes. It's insane. It's insane how it works. Let me try to see. For those who are in the chat right now, I'm going to put the, uh, the link in once again. For those who will listen to 857ENT.com slash giveaway. That's what we love to do. We love to do. everybody drinking how's the chat doing does everyone have a, a drink in their hands you're going on is it liquor is it water is it iced tea let us know shout out to big Chaco. hope everything is going all right wasn't able to make it wasn't able to be here tonight with us but he's gonna be back next week Hopefully everything is going great. Uh, you guys all go to the bathroom at the same time? <laughs> uh, I was. I was talking to myself the whole time. It's therapy, man. It's therapy for me. You know how it is. Podcast is therapy. I've been cra I've been like this before I even started drinking, so don't blame it on the alcohol. It's not the alcohol's oh, fault. Alcohol. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh yes. Are we back, yo? Yeah, we're back. Hell oh, yes. Making sure our guest is back. He's back. All right. Good. Mike's yeah. back. Yeah. Mike is back. So every Hi, yo. Everybody's back. What's going on? We're back. Oh, we're back. Man. Oh yeah. We are back. Oh Shit. man. We are back. And uh we're gonna go into the main topic. Which is everything. Yeah, we're just <laughs> talking about gaming trends, <laughs> retro mania wrestling. That's right. And with our friend, Mike Herman. That's yes. Right. What's going on, man? And Chad, if y'all got any questions for Mike, let him know. Hell yeah, man. Deez, deez. Let him know. About this stuff. All right. Oh, yes. So Mike, uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on with retro mania wrestling at the moment. All right. Wow. Uh, so we're in the process of trying to get the, a long-awaited update out into right. people's hands. Takes us a little uh, longer than the, the average uh, studio to get these things out. Um, we've been working on this update for like a year now. Uh, two new wrestlers, a new arena, two more chapters to story mode. Oh. Um, two or a ton of other like. Uh, some bug fixes we found, upgraded animations for the moves, 
uh, a bunch of other stuff I'm probably forgetting right now. <laughs> um, and, and just the overall, you know, just more polish now that we've had time. It just amazes me. I think I was on this podcast before the game came out over two years ago now. Yes. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like almost three years ago, I think, was the first time I was on. Yep. This was the first podcast I ever did. Nice. Oh, that's crazy. Ah. Wow. Nice. Wow. Ah, nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Man. So uh, it's been a long time coming. We, we you know, we unfortunately we, we go a little slower than than I would like to get this stuff out. Uh, we've actually already worked on. We're already working on the next update. Um, just because our art our art department's done with the current update we're on. We're basically just um, finishing up squashing some bugs with the new features we had. The, the biggest probably uh, overhaul we did was all of the um, one of the, one of the many many mistakes I made developing <laughs> this game. Um, outside of missing deadlines that I set for myself and all that, and those nice users, uh, players, gamers out there were were very kind enough to remind me that I missed those dates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but one of the things in our in just creating all the sprites for the game and in a wrestling game, you know, I found out pretty early on why there aren't a ton of wrestling games out there, mm -hmm. uh, especially two D wrestling games. It's just the number of sprites that need to be made to animate all of these moves yeah. um, it's just ridiculous number of sprites like each one of those wrestlers has like i gotta say 1500 to 2000 sprites so for, for every every move you think in the game you have to make the the sprite of the the other wrestler taking that move yep. in yeah. addition to the actual road hat road uh the other the one wrestler who's doing the move and then you just multiply that and now we have now we have 19 characters in the game. We added, you know, about five or six new moves for each of the new characters. And then we had to animate all the old characters with that old move as well. In 3D, that part Oof. of it's a little easier because you only have to do the animation once and you apply that animation to all your 3D models. Yeah. Uh. Old, old school, like 2D sprite work, it's, it doesn't work that way. Mm. And. You know, we didn't go the Fire Pro approach, which would have probably, in hindsight, might have been easier. The way they kind of puppeteer the rest parts of the wrestlers into moves. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I didn't have that foresight when I was making this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you live and learn. It was the first game I ever made, I, and I'm really proud of the end results. And we made, we learned a lot of lessons going out, uh, you know, the last two years. Wow. So one of the things we've been cleaning up that's taken so long is we realized that we had so many different artists working on the game. And even in some cases we had multiple artists working on the same character. Mm -hmm. And there were some subtle differences in the, the colors, like the palettes that were used on each of the wrestlers. <clears throat> and one of the things I wanted to do from the beginning was have just, uh, if you remember like Marvel vs. Capcom two, for example, I, and I, I had that example planned. I wish Chalk was here because I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you could just easily just swap the palette of that character and get kind of a new look for each of the characters in that mm. game. Nice. Uh, and that's, that's what I always wanted for Retromania. And that's what we've been working on is cleaning up all of those thousands of sprites to make sure we could swap out the palettes. So this next update is going to have multiple uh, ring attires for each of the wrestlers in the game. Which I think oh. for those of you who've played it for a long time, you know, going on over two years now, it'll be a nice, re, uh, refreshing look at the game where you have some some different looks for all the characters in the game. Pretty That's cool. That's an awesome update. Yeah. And, you know, I can kind of take that for granted for probably a more experienced studio would have been making this. <laughs> um, but until you really get into it and know know how to do things, you know, I, I know if we ever do a game too, I'll, I'll have learned so much. From making this game that we won't repeat the same mistakes um but it, it's been a great process and, and just i want to thank everybody out there for for all the you know the small small minority of loud disgruntled uh gamers out there. <laughs> <laughs> the, the vast vast majority i've got nothing but praise from uh have stuck with us through thick and thin over our two-year journey and we're not done we're still this update people are going to really like it's going to breathe some new life into the game and then our next update, like I said, we're already working on it, and we'll, we'll definitely be out much quicker than the, the, this past one was. Nice. And awesome. both awesome. updates are free. 
Yeah, yeah, that's Ooh. pretty crazy. So. That's key. So, you know, and I don't think, you know, especially for small indie studios, I, not, a, not a lot of the big guys are even giving away free content at this point. That's true. That's um, it's true. And, and I think that's just because, you know, this is my passion project game. I want it to be perfect in my eyes, uh, and I want all the stuff in there that I wanted in there. Um, and we're not charging for any of the, the additional content that we do. That's dope. Man. If you were Capcom, though. <laughs> if you were that would be added. W- World of Bazaar has a good question. That's the best. It's probably the the most important question <laughs> I've, I've seen um, in the chat. Uh, level eight five seven as usable characters. Um, <laughs> that's that's part of the update, right? That's part of the update. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the next update. The next update. It's a lot of frames <laughs> of animation. Oh you my know, god. Yeah. We can help. We're we can help. The contracts now. They're really being pains in the asses about it. We'll have uh, no animation. They want some specific moves in there. And <laughs> I do freelance animation, by the way. So, I, I can, you know, I can help. I can help. I won't charge, man. Free. You just need a cardboard cutout that can be clotheslined. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cardboard cutout. No <laughs> animation No at animation. All. Just in, in story mode, have somebody just drop kick a, a yeah. cardboard cutout of this. Yeah. That's all. You'll, just, you'll be in the game, but you just get nothing but chops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that works. Fire <laughs> Warhorse. That's just, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, the chops. Yes, it's a secret. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> no, I'm forgetting that happened. Mike, I got a question I, I for you. <laughs> this uh, this update coming out seems pretty massive, and you have another update planned as well. Um, with these new ideas and things that you put for the update, um, I'm curious, what's the motivation to put it towards WrestleMania wrestling rather than hold it back for like a possible sequel in the future? How do you come to that decision? Yeah, I, I, that's a good question. I mean, I think part of it is, like, I want this game uh, to be something that I'll continue to play mm-hmm. after I'm done with it. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not there yet. I, mm-hmm. I think it still needs something else to give it more replayability. Mm-hmm. Uh, the additional characters obviously will help. Uh, the additional wrestlers at different venues will help to give it variety. But there's a there's a, a big thing coming in uh, – in the next update that I think is going to really add a lot of variety. I'll give a little bit of away here, <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's more of like a uh, kind of almost like a random uh, generated card system, like a wrestling card, oh, or nice. a re- match card or, or, or show, show, show card that you will play through. And it'll just randomly use all of the, cause we have a ton of different options here for matches. Mm-hmm. And some of them, even me as a creator, just forget, forget about which ones are in there and which ones aren't. And sometimes, you know, you get used to playing certain characters and you don't go and try the other characters mm-hmm. um, in the game. So it's, it's kind of going to be a new mode that we're working on now. And we already have a working version of it uh, that we're testing. It's not going to be a missed current update, but the, the next one that, that we're going to come out, just to add some more replayability to the game. And I think that's what kind of drives me to keep adding more to it to mm-hmm. get it to a point where it's, it's like kind of what WrestleFest was to me, where I'm still playing that game 30, 32 years after it came out. Yeah. Um, and I, I think Retromania still needs a few more pieces in order for that to be the case. Uh, I, I think Retromania Wrestling plays a lot better than WrestleFest. <laughs> to be no, I agree. I definitely yeah. agree. It's, it's, it's definitely a lot more variety. Um, and it was a lot, there's a lot more to it than was in the original WrestleFest. But – Still, I think part of that was just the time that I played it. 1991, it came out. I was watching wrestling every week mm-hmm. and, 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 and really identified with all the characters in it. And, and just there was nothing else like it I had ever seen. Yeah. Um, you know, so – and, and, I, and I, I do appreciate that. I mean, it, it's, it's been a ton of work to get it to the way it is. Yeah. Dude, the moves the way they are are just ridiculous. Yeah. Like, looking at the comparison, like, like to do that in Sprite, like yeah. you said, it's – takes a, a lot of work to do it. And you see it. Yeah. You see it in, yeah. in the animation. It's like nothing 2D has that amount of movement <laughs> that I've seen. Right. Yeah. Like the animation itself, yeah, it's just like it's a lot. It's 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 very, very involved. Yeah, I mean, every every single move. And like Mr. Hughes and Cowboy James Storm were the two new characters that are coming out in the next update. That was my next question. You know, we, added, <laughs> we added, you know, each of them have five or six new moves that weren't in the game before each of them. And they all look great, you know, and I think we're getting better with our animations as we go to the point where we've gone back and reworked some of the animations that were in the past that just weren't up to par with the new stuff that we were adding. So that that also went into this this uh, last update. Now, 
some some people won't reckon or won't uh won't see the difference or won't know it's there. But you know, it's kind of I know it's there and I appreciate it. And I know mm-hmm. there's other people like me out there that will as well. Nice. That's yeah, the I'm looking for. I will. <laughs> I'll know. Yeah. And then, then the other piece of that, just to answer that question, is we do still have a deal with Limited Run Games. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, and they're patiently waiting for me to say it's done. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. and we're not there yet, you know. So, and once, you know, and, and it's kind of at, at heart, you know, I go back to the first segment of the show. What was I playing last week? Dr. Mario and <laughs> Tetris and, uh, you know, and Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Those don't get updates, you yep. know. Mm. Yeah. And when we ha- we do this physical edition of the game with limited run, we're not going to be able to update it again. And that's kind of what's going to be hopefully mm. 30 years from now. Some kids who, who played Retro Mania as kids and really liked it mm. can go back and play that, that final version and have access to it and not have to worry about it. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely waiting on that uh, physical edition. <laughs> I want it. Yeah, I'm starting. Yeah. I just started talking to them about that because I they've kept in touch with me. They've been great at limited run, and um, you know they're like, uh, let us know when you're ready to start talking about that uh, that collector's edition. Mm-hmm. So uh, we started talking about stuff that's going to go into that collector's edition. So I'm really excited to plan all that out. Gotcha. There's a question in the chat, Mike, um, by Sonic Stan eighty one. Will there be any additional trophies achievements coming in this upcoming update or the next? Yes, there are. So, All right. No. Yeah, if you go on, uh, if you go on Steam now, I think they're actually visible already. No, nice. yeah. I'm checking uh, them out. You can't unlock them yet, but yeah, we added we added uh, a handful of new achievements uh, to the game. Mm-hmm. Nice. Pretty cool. Sweet. Pretty yeah. So sweet. one of the things uh, we kind of the the original plan with the game when we released it was to do five chapters of story mode, um, mm-hmm. and we ended up doing three with it to be continued. Uh, we kind of ran out of time, ran out of money at the time, (laughs) (laughs) you know, the way it goes. So we, we, we kind of wrapped it up at a point where we thought it was, you know, uh, the story could end there. Uh, but we definitely were always planning on adding additional content to that. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we added some, our story now has, instead of just one ending, there's three, three different endings to the story Mm -hmm. depending on what uh, actions you choose. Um, and there's a there's like a baby face ending, a heel ending, and kind of like a tweener uh, ending. Oh, cool. That you can you all get a, you get a oh. different uh, end screen for each of those, That's uh, cool. and a couple different nuances uh, that go go with that as well. So again, going to the back to that kind of a little more replayability to the game, and, and to give people uh, a little more to explore and, and see. Nice, sweet, nice. interesting. We're not gonna ask you for a time. We are. We're really close. I don't. I don't want to give a, a date and miss it. I've kind of learned my lesson to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> we slowly started releasing stuff. So on, uh, on on social media, we released some stuff. Uh, James Storms moves and uh, Mr. Hughes moves because we do get the occasional comment. Are you guys still alive? You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we still we def- definitely post on social media to let you know we're there. But you know, we haven't been really releasing any content. So we we. We, we want you guys to remember, so you still get that reminder for those of you who follow us, but it's definitely, it's coming very soon. I'll tell you, the last thing we really have, the, the, the characters are in, uh, all the artwork is done, the story mode is done. I think we have two, we have one or two more assets to add to the story mode, but it's all, we have placeholder stuff in there now, so the, the story mode is completely coded and finished. Uh, we, we have to, we have a couple more bug fixes with that palette swapping mechanic so we actually changed the select screen slightly mm. so that when you go to the select screen it'll allow you to select from the multiple palettes that's all working we just have to we have a couple uh, hiccups with some of the some of the sprites left to do just a handful at this point mm. um so we're definitely very close um so it, it won't be long now i'll just give a vague <laughs> answer yeah. uh, soon, soon. To how long it took us to get to this point it, it'll be very quickly just do a shadow drop, man. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Release it when it's ready and don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> don't be surprised. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Let, and let me know when that retail version is available before it sells out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yo, I always had like a um like an like an idea for like the um the arena that we're in. Mm-hmm. Like if you're fighting outside and you like do a move by our table, it breaks. 
and, and all of us stand up like, what the fuck? <laughs> With the two frames of animation. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad idea. And I will say there is an Easter egg in, oh. in one of the arenas in the new update. We'll see who can find it. Oh, oh. Ah, sweet. So the flatbread, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Chaco makes an appearance. Yeah. He returns. Well, that's right. That's not an egg. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Flatbread. No, no, cool, bad. cool. Definitely looking forward but to it. The other stuff. thing where we, pro- not this update, but the next one, uh, you guys brought it up earlier, uh, or Jason, you did about the widescreen support. Oh. Mm. Our actual arenas, I had that idea from the start. Hmm. Um, where we would support widescreen mode, really? uh, at least on the PC version of the game. Hmm. So all of our, uh, I don't know if you guys remember when we had the posters mm-hmm. uh, that we were we were giving away at too many games uh, yep. Yep. last year. Right behind me. Yep. I actually have them right behind me. Did. Oops, got them right behind me. Hold up. Let me get oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> the stages are really big and would fit nicely on a widescreen yep. monitor. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah, you could definitely so see it. Th- that was the original intent. And then we had some issues with the resolution getting it to work right. So we kind of dropped it. Uh, you know, as when we launched the game, I was just a little overwhelmed. And not, not a ton of people, uh, I don't think, is, a, is a, a lot of – was a big outpour and cry for, for support for that. Mm, yeah. um, but it's definitely in there because I, th- I feel like when you look at those posters, the level of detail we, we took to do those – each one of our stages is just incredible. And if you really go and look in the crowd, and we drew inspiration from like Matt Mania, where they had like the Star Wars characters in the crowd, <laughs> yeah. and all these other little Easter eggs that we put in our crowds, and the different YouTube personalities and podcasters like you guys, you know, you guys got a got a prime front row center where you're always in frame. That's yeah. crazy. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We appreciate that. <laughs> Still but, uh, surreal. Not Still everybody surreal. has that, and if and if you pan out can only really see it if you fight on the outside and walk all the way to one side or the other right so we want to get that uh, ultra wide screen support in as well so really people can see all the the time and effort that went into these uh each one of these arenas yeah wow. man, it's like a where's waldo uh yeah uh, right. book. <laughs> it's, it's so, much, exactly. so much content in there man exactly. yep. the media glitch says uh he'll be in that in in the corner the widescreen, he'll be in there. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. You'll have to put, will finally be in there. Uh, You'll have to put <laughs> Reggie in two different places. <laughs> <laughs> two versions of him. Yeah, yeah, two different versions of him. There you go. Evil Reggie. Evil, <laughs> evil, evil Reggie. Reggie. Stop for goatee on one of them. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. You go. <laughs> or it'd be like uh, if you go to like the right side, Reggie moves to where media glitches, and then he moves back depending <laughs> on where the camera he is. He just keeps moving <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Busy guy. Oh, man. We got another question, Mike, in the chat from Sonic's Fan 81. When will or who will be the next DLC wrestlers to be included besides James Storm and Mr. Hughes? Or will it be a surprise once the new chapters of story mode are released? Uh, let's see. I will say there there's an Easter egg in the story mode in one of the scenes that gives away two of them. Oh. oh. Okay. Um, so there are more after these guys. Wow. Yeah, they're, we, and they're already – they're almost – we almost have the artwork finished for them as well. Right? And that's – and just so you guys know, um, the the biggest time sink for all this was obviously the wrestlers themselves. Mm-hmm. Just because just the number of the number of sprites that we have to do. And that's what took us so long. And that's – when the game initially was delayed the first time, it was just because we were finishing the character artwork. Mm. That is like I would say about ninety percent done already nice. uh, okay. for those yeah. final, not final, but the next updates. Uh, three, three characters that we're going to do in the next update. Next, wow, another three. <laughs> yeah. So, and, I, and I'll give I'll give one hint and exclusive here. One of them's a tag team. So. Oh. oh okay. Um, and we are really. I want to add some more. Uh, one of the things, uh, another thing, I feel like lacks a little bit in the game now is. Uh, the number of double team moves you can do. Mm-hmm. So that is going to be one of the things I focus on in, in the next update after this one. After the current one releases, the next update, um, we, we want to focus on some more tag team moves, add some more moves, and then maybe also different ways to trigger tag team moves. Because right now you have to have your opponent in a headlock and make that tag. Mm-hmm. That may still be the case, but there may be some more variety of those moves. Because I, 
I'll tell you the best feeling for me even now is being the Road Warriors and doing the Doomsday Device. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's cool. <laughs> and getting the pin is my favorite, probably my favorite thing to do in the game. <laughs> and and I, I just get a lot of satisfaction from hitting that move in the game. And I wanted I want to do more of that. So some more, you know, the other stuff we have is like double elbows, double backdrops, mm-hmm. uh, some more common double team moves. And I want to do more stuff like the Doomsday Device and add some more re- uh, moves like that. So maybe people have to figure out, oh, if I'm Colt Cabana – and I'm uh, Nikita Koloff. I'll do this double team move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... You know, and then kind of figure out the combinations of certain wrestlers that if you tag team together, they'll do a cool finish or something like that. So, okay, that's yeah. cool. That's actually. So I'm not going to say cool. every combination will have their own distinct one, but at least add, you know, a bunch of new animations and a bunch of new moves in, so that you know it'll give you something to look for in some of those other cool moments when you actually pull one of them off. Wow. Sounds good. That sounds does sound good. pretty cool, though. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I, got, I got something to look forward to, y'all. Yes. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> it's, it's a lot of... A lot of yeah, we're de- definitely, you know, definitely... I, I love the game, you know, and I'm really proud of what it what it, what came out, and I just feel like, you know, a couple more updates, you know, it'll, it'll be perfect. So there's just a few more things that I think I want to add uh, to it. And, and uh, you kind of circle back to the original question, which was when do we um, kind of move from a, the first game into a sequel? Mm-hmm. And it's really, we did, you know, we meaning me, I'm not going to blame anybody else but myself, <laughs> made a couple poor design decisions where there is going to be a point where adding any more wrestlers the way we did it or the way I designed it just doesn't really make sense. Mm-hmm. Um, just because the amount of time it takes. And there's definitely now in hindsight, there's much better ways we could have done it. So once we get to that point where it just makes sense, then I'll start looking at all right, maybe a game two makes sense. Oh, Interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, a little sequel. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mike's <laughs> a Mike's a perfectionist. He's like, no, we're not done yet. <laughs> My we're baby's not, done not finished. Yet. <laughs> you know, well, I'm kind of taking the kind of No Man's Sky approach where <laughs> <laughs> I don't think our launch was that bad. Um, but you know, they've kind of redeemed themselves. You know, five six years later. Oh yeah. yeah. And now it's a good game, you know, and right. I give I give that dev team a lot of credit. You know, obviously they have some big bucks bank back in them, but, yeah. um, you know, it would be a lot easier for the whoever was back in that game behind it once it failed to just be like, well, screw it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, but they didn't and they stuck with it and uh, yeah. they turned it into a great game. And it, it's kind of the same thing. Like this is my name's on this. Um, I want it to be the best you know, that I can do within my means. Mm, mm. And, uh, you know, once that's done, we'll, we'll call it a game. Nice. Sounds right. Well, it's good to see you got the dedication to do that because a lot of people yeah. would have just said, all right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Next. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. No, that's awesome, though, because the core game, even without updates, is very good. You know, yeah. it's like it's a very good, it's a very fun game to play. You mm-hmm. know, like when I compare it to the old WrestleFest, you know, it was a lot of, you know, grappling and button. You hit the button as fast as you can to get the move off. But in this, there's a timing thing that's involved, right. you know. And it's like you can't do the heavy moves yet until you first get your gauge up by doing the weaker moves. And it's psychology. like there's, there's, psychology. There's, yeah, there's a psychology. There's a strategy to it. So I'm like, this isn't just, you know, like it's more, it's much more simulated, <laughs> you know, than the old WrestleFest. So I was like, I right. felt that core game was very solid, you know, with the. Uh, but when Ultimate Warrior does this. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I remember. When I was I was like, you look at him. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So just seeing that, how much more new content is coming is really pretty amazing. Can't wait, man. Free. Yeah, slow and steady wins a race, right? And we, we take that slow to heart. You <laughs> 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 perfected it. You perfected the slow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you don't want to release it bad. Gotta, <laughs> that's you know, true. Release it when it's good. Uh, yeah. That's true. Oh, that's awesome, though. Well, at least uh, people look forward to it, so. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah releasing sh- uh, games are unfinished. That's, that, that seems, seems to, be to be the, the thing that That's like the now. game. That is the gaming trend, right? Yeah. And it's 15 <laughs> bucks you, updated. You know, a, little, a little back, you know, part of it was, like, especially for, for an indie game, we didn't have a, Q, a huge QA uh, department testing it. So, mm-hmm. you know, we had some we had some volunteers who did, you know, some more than others, but did like, an incredible job helping us out. 
Um, you know, I had it. I had it running on AI mode on like five computers in my office, <laughs> just <laughs> running it through to just try to get all the game crashing bugs out of the way, which wow. was was somewhat effective. You know, we still had a few at launch, um, and we've slowly gotten rid of all those. But we've kind of re the the one thing, and you know, two years ago when we launched, it came out and people were like, "This game's too hard," and we just released on Steam, <laughs> and it was just like overwhelming at least to the Steam audience, that it was too hard. Hmm. And I kind of got numb to it playing it so much, I guess, through development. And all of our testers did because it was simple to us. Right, yeah. And we re- the weekend we launched, we totally put in this whole grapple assist <laughs> system that you can turn on or off, but that would help you with the timing and help explain what was going on. Oh, um, it helps. Um, yeah, it does. Feedback. <laughs> And then we scaled down the difficulty and made a slider to allow people to change it as, as they saw fit. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was part of like kind of the old school in me, Ninja Gaiden, <laughs> <laughs> get, you know, get good. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, and then I got I, I succumbed to the overwhelming the the the, the pitchfork mob, and we, we added <laughs> we added some other stuff. But in, in a, you know it was for the best I think. Yeah. Um, the crybaby. And we kind of, you know, we ironed <laughs> yeah, out most there. of the stuff before we launched on the consoles. Mm-hmm. So. That's good. Now I got all I, my, I my never used a grapple threat. assist. My no, first triple threat match. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't win for yes. that. I was like, stop Pretty kicking tough. out. <laughs> well, the right. big one, too, was um, in, when you play the 10 pounds of gold mode, which is kind of arcade mode, mm-hmm. the, the second to last match before you come champion and when you're defending is a four-way match. Yep. Where it's not elimination. Yep. So if the computer uh, pins one of your opponents, you lose. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. I learned the hard way. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I learned. I the hard way. That was the most difficult <laughs> match in the game by far. Yeah. It was like people like were like, you should take that out. I'm like, I'm not taking it out. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta have some skill to win. Yeah. The you game. gotta. Yeah. yeah you eventually like, figure it out. I got lucky. Yeah. First time I tried that, I was like, "Really? Yeah." No, I didn't. <laughs> I think like the third <laughs> time I tried, I was like, "Oh, I did, I did, I did." It. But uh, then I tried again yeah. later after I forgot how to play, uh, and I was not getting past that match. That was the, at that all. Was the toughest matches. I had I mean, to learn games, those are the everything matches. over. Yeah, yeah. I was when like, it's not elimination. Stop pitting him. Stop <laughs> it. I'm fighting over here. Stop. Yeah. It. <laughs> but you know, just a, a couple of the other things I'm just are coming to my mind that uh, the new update's gonna have. We added a couple things like uh, one-handed pins. Just mm-hmm. to add a little more variety. Mm. So, like when Mr. Hughes beats somebody, occasionally he'll just kneel down and put one hand on their chest <laughs> and do the one, two, <laughs> three thing. That's cool. <laughs> you know, and, and a bunch of little things. Oh, so a little, little more blood. You can, you can bust somebody open in the new one. That's the new nice. update. Oh, that's gonna be great. So nice. we got some blood effects. Uh, not nothing too gory, but. Uh, like if you slam them into the cage, you have a good chance of uh, seeing some blood splurt out. Nice. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so among other among other things, Re- like I said before, reworked some of the animations. But sorry, that just came to my head now. But that's some of the cooler stuff that we added to this. That's okay. dope. That blood's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Now I know. Um, I know you definitely wanted to talk about this, so I, I saved it for this part because we were uh, going to okay. add it to the news, and <laughs> I said, you know what? Let's let's add it to the to the final. Uh, Final uh, talking point. So this is the Tetris movie. Oh yeah. So we're gonna talk about the Tetris movie. And um, first off, who who here saw it? No, I didn't see it. I saw it. I saw I, it, of I course. Oh yeah. I, I had to see it. No, when I heard you say it, I was like, oh, I'm I'm doing this. Like I was gonna watch it tonight. Anyway. I was already gonna. <laughs> you, I mean, you hit me up on uh, Discord asking if I saw it yet, and I was like, no, I yeah. haven't seen it. And then I had, I was like, that's my priority. I gotta watch it. Yeah. And do you guys I, like it? I want to see oh, your. I want to know your thought first, though. Oh man, uh, I, I liked it a lot. Oh, I mean, okay, good. I, I didn't know <laughs> what going into expect. I didn't really know. You Same. Know? Uh, I did read something. They weren't doing it like a video game kind of movie mm, per yeah. se, and they were kind of telling the story of how it was made. Yeah. But I, my my only thing was uh, of reference was the gaming historian did a yes. really good short documentary on it. I saw it also. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah I yeah. thought that was really well done. Uh, yeah. For those of you who didn't see that, I would definitely check that out. But I I that. Um, he he typically does really really good videos. Yeah. But this was this was awesome. Yeah. Like I really loved the the kind of 
And I, it, I say, I'm, I'm curious how much this was based on a true story, though. I, I hmm. know the true I story. I know the parts. Yeah, it was close. I, I personally know the true story, and there was, for good reason, there was like one big uh, bit of information that was omitted from the movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. for good reason. For good <laughs> reason. <laughs> for good reason. Um. But yeah, no, it made it to make it was entertaining, man. Yeah, I liked it. I saw this right after, like a couple hours after I saw Mario. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) really? What a good, what a good time! (laughs) Video game (laughs) movies, video game movies are are (laughs) rocking it right now, man. I had a feeling that it was gonna be similar to the Facebook movie. Remember that movie? It like similar, uh, like yeah, yeah. Was it the Social Network? Yes, Social Network. Social Network. Yes, because I was like. Oh, who cares about Facebook? I don't see no movie. And then I right. watched it. Right. And the way they told it was very interesting. And it's not yeah, like, yeah. oh, it was about Facebook. It was about how it was made. It's the yeah. negotiation, and which is it weird. It's about all the stuff that went down that yeah. we wouldn't really know about. Right. right. So I was like, I have a feeling, because I read that, okay, this Tetris is about something like that. I was like, why right. Apple? Why on Apple? Like, I want this in the theater. It should have been in the theater. It should have yeah, been. Because no, it I was agree. so, I, I was just happy watching it. Because Same. the amount of, they did it so well. Mm-hmm. And the amount of energy that they put into it, you can feel it. Yeah, like, I was like, I yeah. like the music. I like what they're doing with the art. I yeah. like, I like how they're telling the story. And yeah. It's just, yeah. And especially after you watching, like, kind of put in like some video game graphic. Like, oh yeah, yeah. that yeah. that I thought was a nice touch. They put yeah. like a yeah. pixelated, like they, made, they would like, pixelate the real the, life into pixelated. Yeah, stuff. They, they pixelated cool. certain things, and they, they'd have some uh, like uh, animations and stuff they do in there. Yeah, oh. but um, yeah, I yeah, was that, very excited watching. So it was just they just did a good job pacing. And they made you like the characters. I yeah. and they made villains. They made villains. I was like, okay, yeah, maybe they yeah. la- they exaggerate a little bit on villains. Probably if this was yeah. based on a true story. Yeah. But I did know the story kind of, and I know that there was people like that. Yeah. Maybe right. not as villainous as as the guy was, but I was yeah. like, that's great for the movie though. <laughs> it's I, really good. I went into it think like with low expectations. Like I was actually yeah. like, nah, this is probably gonna suck, man. Unfortunately. <laughs> I'm like, nah, this is gonna suck probably. But oh, you didn't take my word for anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, well Well, this is before you even said it. Jeez. I didn't even know it was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that when I saw it though, I was really like blown away by the freaking just everything, man. This I'm like I, I love how it started. I don't know <laughs> I normally don't like uh like a lot of it like I want to say eighty percent of it was mostly like negotiations and stuff. Yeah, but it was entertaining. They made it like they did the whole Russia. Thing. Oh I'm yeah, not, yeah, I'm not spoiling yeah. anything, but they yeah, just yeah, did yeah. the whole like just the Cold War and like they just did oh, a yeah. lot of stuff in it. Like okay, that is the All villainous right. area in America. Yeah. It's the eighties, man. It's just a good, yeah, <laughs> and it was definitely the eighties. They definitely <laughs> did a good job telling you like this is the eighties, no, and they like they had job. like they had the real people talk. Like it's it's crazy. You hit a good job. You hit the the nail on the head though when you said it. Uh, it should have been in theaters, man. I wish it, it should have been theaters, in theaters. That was just my the smile on my face. Yeah, no. was so big just watching this movie the whole time through. Yeah, and I was like, I'm applauding this in the middle of the movie. I'm like, yeah. this is great. <laughs> by your, by wow. yourself. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, really no, nobody watch me. Just yeah. watch the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I do wish it was in the theaters because it deserves it deserves to be watched and seen. And no one's going to talk about it. It's on Apple TV. Was yeah. it better than the Super Mario Brothers movie? I think so, yes. As a movie, yes. <laughs> as a as an actual storyline movie, yes. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, fan like fandom is going to make Mario like, okay, that's they did that for me. But yeah. this was a movie, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was great. Interesting. Very well done. I kept man. thinking that the, the main yeah. dude was the guy from like. Uh, from who? Was he from? From, uh, from that 70s show. You know the brother? And then he had a brother that was in. Uh, what was the show where he was dating the, the Eskimo girl? Uh, damn it. The Eskimo girl. No, the guy from the guy. Oh, damn it. What was it? Malcolm in the Middle. Do you know that brother who was in that? Dude, you lost me, dude. <laughs> well, the, the the main character reminded me of that guy. I kept seeing his face when I watched it. I was like, what the hell? That's not him. <laughs> but it reminded me of him. So if you ever looked it up. I heard Egerton. It's, it's years ago, though. That was a long time ago. That's <laughs> that the dude was probably man. old as hell. Yeah, but no, no. The guy, the main character in this was very charismatic. He was dope. He was yeah. dope. Yeah, I've never seen that guy that, that I know. I've never seen him in any movie. I was like, who is this guy? Yeah, you have. Have I? Yes. Where? He's played in. S- he's a British uh, spy. In um, I wouldn't even know. The Samuel Jackson. Uh, what the hell is that? That Chris narrows Matt. it down. Huh? Chris so that narrows it down. Oh, sorry. Samuel Jackson's like in the most movies. <laughs> I know. <right? laughs> no, it was. Uh, it was like a spoof on. Um, not really a spoof. 
<laughs> Hitman's wife? I don't know. <laughs> what the <laughs> gentleman? No. <laughs> this is British. Shaft? Huh? Shaft? No. <laughs> no. Sorry no. for anyone says this is Chris Masterson, that's his name? Chris Maris- Masterson. Masterson. I thought that was his name. Oh, yes. Let me but he was dope. I'm nah, he was dope. It up, no, fine. <laughs> but like I said, I didn't know. Now. I'm saying I didn't know any characters in the movie. It was just all new to me. All those people were new. And it was great. They did great. Taren Taren Egerton. I gotta yeah, check it out now. Oh, definitely watch it. I I recommend this yeah, to everybody. Worth it. Yeah. I recommend it to everybody. Even if you don't like Tetris, it's just a I great. Like ah, the, the Kingsman. Oh, the guy from the, the guy Kingsman, from the main America. character, mm-hmm. main guy. I never seen Kingsman. Kingsman. No. No. Oh, this is a great. I know movie. there's three movies. Great action yeah. movie. Yeah. I First one was really good. Second one was. Nah. I gotta watch it. Still good though. Gotta watch it. But yeah, he reminded me of that guy for some reason. And the guy you're talking to is about his friend. Oh, it's Chris Masters. Chris Masters. But oh. yeah, I mean, like a, a mustache version of hey, that's me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure looking at him now, you're like, ah, that's not him. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Nah, it was a good movie, man. I was thoroughly impressed. This is the year. This is where the video game movies make it. Good. Well, we it's already said time. after Last it's of Us that it took a turn. Like right. for the ba- I mean, after Sonic, we said it took Shit, a turn. After, yeah. Come on, man. Right. Assassin's Creed was on our. No, was on nah, our- stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Was on the no, up and after Assassin's Sonic, Creed. after Sonic, I was like, okay, they were taking this kind of seriously. Well, now, after they changed the design making... of Sonic. Well, yes, definitely, no, definitely, <laughs> yeah. definitely. That's but after that, made the amount of money it did, it was like, okay, now they can take it serious. Yeah. And now after the last one, it's like, oh, now they can take it real serious. And this is all done at the same time, so it's like, okay, they they figured it out. They, they did. They figured something out. They definitely. They're did. not taking it as a joke anymore. Yeah, actually, like take people who know about the game and help. Make the movie, <laughs> yeah, and get <laughs> and, good writers, and make yeah. the you know the show. It's it's not rocket science. You get know? good yeah. writers, get good actors. Don't give it the uncharted treatment and take Ooh. take oh. big stars and just throw a video game <laughs> name on it it's and funny. act like we're gonna eat that up. It's so funny how Sony did the total opposite, near almost nearly the same time. Uncharted, yeah. Last of Us, yeah, wrong way, right way, yeah, and yeah. it's so it's yeah. still Sony. Mark yeah. Wahlberg, Sully. That's all I gotta say. Uh, <laughs> I want to know <laughs> how the <laughs> fuck did that happen? He looked who? like at the end with a mustache. He oh, looked similar. How, tell me how the <laughs> fuck did that happen? Who was the who was the casting director for that movie? Because Jesus, that was a bad movie. That was a bad movie. It was Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> 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 it was the casting director. The thing is, it wasn't a bad movie. It was actually an entertaining movie. It's just it was a good the Netflix casting movie. was just so bad that it took you out of the freaking movie. You should have put it the rock in it. If yeah, exactly, gonna, exactly. If you were gonna do that, you could have just yeah, put the rock. I think the best thing, the best reaction, <laughs> I, was, I kept thinking of Spider Man. Vic, like, Vic Lucas's reaction to <laughs> Uncharted. I never <laughs> seen him so that was angry the best <laughs> in my entire life. <laughs> oh no, he was angry. Let me see if so, I can pull that up. So oh, he doesn't want you to play that. <laughs> he was so he was pissed. cursing his stuff. I was <laughs> like, yo, he doesn't curse this much. And no. he loved it. When we said what we told him when he was on, he was yeah. like, oh yeah, nah, that was garbage. So <laughs> mad. <laughs> That's horrible. I'm like, tell us why you're mad. Why? <laughs> like stirring the pot. Like, tell us. Why. But, dude, if you're interested in Tetris or not, if you have a chance to watch Tetris movie, like, it's <laughs> it's great. It's free. You don't need great. to like Tetris to watch it. No, no, you don't. No, you might actually like Tetris afterwards, yeah. even if you don't. Oh, this is it. Because right there's a certain appreciation for that game that, they, that I had to go through. I got to check it out. I must. What did, what did you find out? Mark Wahlberg was supposed uh, to be Nathan Drake. It would have been better. It's the Vicar Lucas <laughs> it review. Made sense. <laughs> oh, it's Vic it would have made more sense. Let me see if I could go back to the beginning where he starts off. Uh, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's so, so mad. mad. He's so angry. Like well, it starts not, off. Listen, it shouldn't have started with him that young. It start off. Oh, yeah, dude. It's dude like, I kept thinking Spider Man. The whole yeah, freaking movie. Like, I don't like it when they start Spider Man that young. I'm Peter tired Parker. of teenage Spider Mans. You know, oh, and they did the same thing to Nathan Drake. He was like flying around and climbing. I'm like. It's Spider-Man. Yeah, <laughs> it's Spider-Man. Yeah. He's fine as Spider-Man. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Don't do this. No, nah, the casting was just god awful, man. Did you see Uncharted? Like, I didn't see. I only saw the the previews, but I didn't like. I didn't turned off by it from the beginning. I thought Tom Holland looked too young. Yeah, yeah. it does. So it like didn't maybe. make sense. No. That should have been a throwback in like the third movie. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. don't do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bad well, casting. It's a lot of you get characters like that where you can only see them as certain things. Like, I, I'm pretty sure if I saw. Like, I felt like uh, that Sherlock Holmes movies was Iron Man in Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I thought the same thing. Like, I well, can't get it out of my head. I'm like, oh, Tony Stark's time traveling. Dude, I thought the same exact Whenever thing. I, I didn't watch it. Yeah, I didn't watch I it. I thought the same thing. Good movie, but. 
We it's just that the, if you come out with something when you're after an iconic role some people that just, you're still doing. Yeah, you're typecast. Yeah, that's it. But you're yeah. still doing that role oh. when you do this. Like, right. if he was done with Iron Man, okay, you're moving on. That's fine. Right. Like, Harry Potter or whatever. Like, if he's doing a movie after that stuff, I can see him as that maybe, but I didn't care about it. Or if you just typecast as stuff. just the I'll actor who's playing him. Like, <laughs> Ben Affleck <laughs> playing Batman. Weird Al Yankovic movie. Oh no, he did oh. good in that. Actually, that was a really that was another movie that I surprised like that me. Movie too. That was, that was funny. As I d- I kind of did, and then I didn't. I get hit this what? point. Where I was like, ah, this movie's nah, trashed dude. out. But it was good. Now he did a good job. It's in a it. parody of parody oh, I movie. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I liked it a lot. It's and then it was like, hmm. now, he did it on purpose. It's I know. Part of the joke. I know, I know, I know. It's the joke. I'm a Madonna fan. Come on. But <laughs> it's it's the joke. It's the it. joke. Ruin it. <laughs> <What's up>? Wow. <laughs> She's not ruined already? <laughs> no, man. Listen. Damn. Who's that girl? Come on. I thought you were done with her, man. Evita? <laughs> nah. Damn. Wow. Come on. Anyway. <laughs> Let's foul. I can't. Yeah, but listen, like I said, those movies those movies are dope. Nice. Mario and Tetris, greatest movies right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now check them out. And The Last of Us show. And uh, <laughs> and last yeah, of course. And Mike Herman, quick segue back to Retro Mania Wrestling. I got a que- I got one question for him. I of got course one, you do. One question. Of course for him. you do. Of the, course. Is there any particular platform what ha- needs extra tweaking for this update? Is it just like everything's going smooth on most of the platforms, but this one platform is giving you a tough time with the new tw- uh, tweaks you're doing yeah, in the update? Yeah, Arcade is gonna probably probably come out a little later than the other. Uh, Mm. Uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe not. We've been working on, we've been working on optimizing that. Uh, mm. So hopefully we get that done. But that one's given us a little bit of a problem. What about that old switch system? <laughs> no, that, I mean, that's fine. I mean, we we worked through that from the beginning. So mm. the, the the thing with the consoles is uh, they're all a little bit different. Uh, so the way you go through certification for each version or each mm. update you put through is a little bit different. But we've gone through it like four times. Mm. Um, so we should be good, uh, from that, from that aspect. So for our game, you know, you looking at our game, you wouldn't think we'd have any performance issues on any system just cause <laughs> you see, you see 2d Jeez, graphic right. <laughs> and you, and you think if you're, if you don't know better, you know, well that should run easily, but with the amount of sprites we have on the screen at once, it still kind of matters yeah. with something like the switch. No, oh, yeah. It's, no, it's not two frames of animation. Yeah. <laughs> you got yeah. crowd animation right. too. There's a lot to take into account what's going yeah. on screen at one time. So it's true. Yeah. Plus, there's a lot of pixels in that level eight five seven table. You know. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> most of it went to Stallion's hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure it looks good, man. You can't you gotta be authentic. But they had to do some amazing yeah. stuff on here to make it look good. <laughs> Using up all the colors. Listen, listen, listen. 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 Anyway. I don't like the jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Can't play this on Genesis. Oh man! No. <laughs> <Please, laughs> like taking a shot. Well, the new like update will have blast processing. As well. Yeah, <laughs> yes. As long as it's sixty frames, that's all that matters. Sixty frames. Uh, of course, Retromania does what Nintendo. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, hey, don't yeah. get me sued. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's sorry, not a, it's sorry, not any of the paperwork. It's They'll come saying. after me. And say, yeah. <laughs> you'll just disappear. I'll you'll Nintendo, disappear. yeah, you'll, yeah. S- you won't see me next week. You'll go to where chalk is. <laughs> Wherever chalk is at, you'll go where he is. Yeah, yeah. It's a Sega slogan. They won't come after you. Yeah, Ninten- that Nintendo. is true. That's true. <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo, though, yeah. I'm, I'm afraid of them. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, yeah, dude, awesome time. It's Thank been you. a pleasure. And yes. Let everybody know where they can find you, right? RetroStalkStudios.com, RetromaniaWrestling.com, or at RetroStalk Studios on all social media. There you go. Yes. All right. There so you go. Hit that up, guys. And, and if you want to see more this. footage of Retro uh, Mania Wrestling, make sure you follow us TikTok, too, because you'll be throwing some uh, videos on there as well. That's I true. Check those out. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All make right, sure my friend. Follow and give us a follow, too, yo. Yes. Yes. Thanks, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Mike, how Always, you doing, Mike. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Sir. Until next time, dude. Absolutely. Yeah. Looking forward to those updates, man. Yeah. Can't wait for hopefully, our table hopefully to break soon. away, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the hardest update. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I All right. Want, I just want a retail version. I don't want to buy that. You guys know what it's time it's for now, be, right? He's a perfectionist. It's going to be a minute. It's time for the news. Oh, wait. It's time for uh, the news. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Wait. Oh, oh, we're at the end of the show. Nah, Listen, it's there's time been a lot of breaking news while we were on the show. That's yeah, true. Yeah, man. <laughs> for real. For real. It's a lot of stuff, man. Hey. We have... 
a streaming schedule in addition to the podcast. We're actually a part of the podcast. You know, the podcast is part of the streaming schedule. So Shout out to the chat. Yes, let's give some more Good info. Time. Good day, day. Sorry, that was for the chat. <laughs> <laughs> On Sundays, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Level A57 goes through metamorphosis and comes out of the other end as the multiverse is maniacs. Sensational. <laughs> Where me, Turbo A57 and join forces and battle the best and brightest and destructive teams that the multiverse's community can find. Ranked battles, we put the rank up, we want to fight the best, we're climbing the ladder, we keep doing it. For as long as we can until the beta goes offline on June, that fate the day of June 25th. But continue to watch us every single Sunday, 3 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time before that date happens with the Multiverse of Mania. Then on Fridays, Choco will be bringing Big Chuck. Big Chuck. Big Chocolate Chip. He said Big Chocolate Chip. <laughs> big Chocolate Chip. <laughs> big, <laughs> big Chocolate Chip. <laughs> big Chocolate Chip. <laughs> what? Big Chocolate Chip. <laughs> Big Chaco. Big Chaco. Friday the Fridays. At I said Fido. Fido? <laughs> Fido. It's a dog. <laughs> it's a dog, man. Fighter Friday. 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to yes. either be a beat em up or a tournament style fighter. He's going to be getting in the ring with the online community and whatever he chooses to play. Or he's going to be joining some people in the co op brawler. So uh, we'll find out later this week on what he plans to play. 9 o'clock p.m. Make sure you hit that bell. Subscribe to us to find out what's going to happen that next time. Bingo. And of course, 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the flagship show of the channel, the podcast. Yeah. 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 Usually, all five of us are going to be here. You know, if not, you know, because we got vacations, you know, sometimes things happen behind the scenes that close out. But we're going to try to be here, all five of us, every single week. Sometimes, uh, well, the channel. Well, you're not going to be here for the next three, three I'm podcasts. Not, well, we don't know. I'm going to be on vacation, yes, for the next three weeks because I'm going to Africa. RC, Democratic Republic of Congo. Tell them exactly where. Yeah, you, know yeah. you, want, you want the hotel? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Y'all ain't gonna, you need a visa to find me. No doctor. Yeah. Try a doctor. Uh, yeah. Get that visa. Oh, Get wow. that visa. See how that's gonna Are work. Are you gonna do the, the outro? Yeah. Um, no, no, no. I might do remote. No. We're gonna see what we can find out. I might be a part of the podcast still. So uh, check out for that. And, uh, you know, if you're checking us out for the first time, consider subscribing. If you've been watching us for a while, it's free. Share it with a friend. It's free. It's free. Just like our giveaway that we have monthly. So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys get on that. Chat's always live. Topic's always crazy. We have a guest pretty frequently. And the guests are always freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. They're always yeah, freaking yeah. awesome. Yeah, they only have awesome guests. I know. Because the ones that sucked, you know, we, we met them. You know, and when they suck, we kick them out of there. <laughs> nope. Nope. Kick no, him out no, of Get out of here. No, Stop man. it. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Yeah. So with that said, it's yeah. been awesome, everybody. Thank you once again. Thanks again, y'all. Until next week, y'all. That's right. We're out. Hey, shout out to Mike Armand again. Peace.